Oh, you're muted. Fucking shit. <laughs> oh, that we heard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but issues on my end for some reason. Okay, so welcome everybody End's to mind. episode three of Tides of Flame. Uh, I'm going to do a quick recap of everything that happened in the first two episodes since both party the party was split in half <laughs> and each person had each group had their own thing to do. So um, each of your two groups, one comprised of Keanu, Marcus, and Nazriel, and the other of Greksha, Duradas, and Valfire, were each hired by an assassin named Oz to rescue his kidnapped daughter, Keela, from the clutches of a group of disavowed killers from the Unseen Hand, which is an assassin's guild that operates from within Baldur's Gate. Oz, being an active member of the Unseen Hand, could not be involved in the operation due to the no-family rule set by the guild. Uh, both groups were told to meet back at the Grazing Goat, Ananto Cleese's restaurant at the heart of the city, the following day once the deed was done. Each group accepted the job, some for monetary gain and some for other reasons. Using two different routes to find the kidnapper's lair underneath the cemetery just outside the city limits, you converged a few moments apart to find the leader of the thugs, Daniel, indeed holding a young tiefling girl hostage alongside a few of his cohorts. Keanu's group defeated all of Daniel's people inside the lair, as well as beating up Daniel himself quite badly. Valfire's group took out a number of his men outside the cemetery in order to gain access to the catacombs via a rundown chapel. Uh, Valfire's group entered the lair after Keanu's to find three dead thugs, Daniel in the corner, his clothes tattered and smoking as if he were on fire a few moments ago, and an ASMR paladin on the ground next to the kidnapped girl who was crying. Valfire stepped up upon seeing this and proclaimed, give us the girl or you all die. And that was where we left off both times. Okay, so now, as you can see on the battle cam, uh, Daniel steps forward attempting to clean off his outfit. He brushes the burned segments away with the back of his hand. Doesn't quite get the desired effect as his right sleeve slides off the jacket along his arm and falls to the floor. This is a custom tailor job. <laughs> it's like, eh, no matter. I'll take the gold off your corpses and commission a new one. And he swishes his sword in a figure eight motion in the air before him. He goes, have at you! So everyone roll initiative. Oh, we're going straight into it, huh? Eleven. Twelve. Five. Going last like the healer should. Eighteen. <laughs> okay, what did everybody get? I got eleven. Correct show, I got a four. I, I rolled highest, 18. 18 for Keanu. Nazriel gets a 12. Uh, nope. Valfire had 18 as well. Naz, 12. Valfire, 18. Marcus, uh, 5. Marcus. Okay. And uh, Durdus? 11. Okay. And Daniel <clears throat> will roll. Wait. If I can get this damn thing to stop chugging. Just a quick question. How do you guys see my rolls when I don't see anybody else's? <laughs> if you open the uh, campaign in another window in D&D &D Beyond... And then Ooh. push the game log button. You'll see everyone's rolls. Oh, I think I might have done the wrong one too. Magic campaigns yeah, view campaign. Which button do, you, do we do? Game log game user. Log. Yep. Oh, there we go. Give okay, one second. For some uh. reason, this other computer's chugging too. And it's not even connected this way. Just do it. Come on. Don't make me do it the old-fashioned way. There we go. That's right. Threaten the Fuck technology it. until it in, in obeys your imperious will. Yeah, it's... F this computer. Okay. 
He got a 18 as well. Oh, there goes one of my characters. And who is who is a Daniel? Attacking? Daniel was the leader of. Well, he is just on the far side, so you can see him all the way on the right side, next to the barrels and the the big mess that's over in the corner on the right. Okay. He's standing all the way over there. He just brushed off his jacket, and he basically just threatened you all. So, if you look at the rings that I have on the characters, the blue is Nazriel. Uh, yellow is, or sorry, white is Marcus. Yellow is Keanu. Orange is Valfire. Black is Duradas, and green is Greksha. Okay, so Daniel got an 18. Okay, so we got to do rollies for Keanu, Valfire, and Daniel. I got to get out of this damn page. It's pissing me off. Okay. Who's got the higher dexterity of the three of you? Well, Daniel's got a three. You said the higher decks? Yeah, who's got the higher decks? Daniel has three. He needs a modifier. Means... Yeah, your modifier. Oh, I have a modifier of two. Two? Oh, wait. No, my deck says plus four. <coughs> okay. Okay. I Okay, hold on. Saving throw modifiers or what it says on the top? What it says on the top. Okay, so plus two. Okay, and just so everybody has a visual, this is the dude you are facing. If it will ever a little work. more crispy, like though. Pirate. Yeah. So. Is that discount Vigo yeah. Mortensen? Or? <laughs> that, yeah, that's if he had a that's if he had a bigger forehead. <laughs> Okay, so. Okay, so what does uh, Keanu? What's your dex? Plus four. Sorry, I didn't realize it was muted. Plus four. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Keanu is going first. <laughs> I guess vicious mockery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. What do I need to save against? Um. Spells, wisdom has to do fifteen. Fifteen. 15. Uh, oh, I I rolled a nineteen. Wow. Okay. So he goes. What did you say, by the way? Just so. It's like, I dude, I just wrote a song <laughs> about you being a douche, and you fit the part perfectly. And it's like your guitar still needs tuning. <laughs> <laughs> just turns into an epic rap battle. Posh fight. Sing. Posh fight. <laughs> yeah, sing. <laughs> okay, so that means. Okay, sorry. Do you have anything else you want to do? Uh no, that's all I can do. You can move. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my distance. Okay. He's what? Right. What's he wielding? What weapon does he, he have? Is, a sword. He's like in a pay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start right, next. E pay. Like, uh, like a fencing sword. Okay. E pay. Yeah. All right, so next up is oh, Daniel. All right. And Daniel is going to... He has a 30. Twenty-five, thirty. Ooh, dangerously close. He doesn't give a fuck. He's, he's, he's Mr. Tough Guy. Okay, and he is going to, since he has the reach, uh, he is going to go after, and that is, I'd say he's going to go after Valfire because he's the one that just, like, basically threatened him. Successfully taunted. I rolled a 17. Two hit. Uh, where's my dodge? 
your AC? Armor class. What's yeah, your AC? I know. The, it just takes six. Sixteen. Two. Sixteen. Okay, so he hits. Okay, and he is going to go for the. Hang on one second. So that is a D six. Okay, three plus two, so five damage. Uh, what would? Sorry, guys, I'm having a brain fart here. What would I be? Do I just take the five, five damage? Or? Yeah, just the, your health in the top right of your character sheet. Just click on it. And you can decrease it. I got to put away the game log. Okay, and that's it for Daniel. Next up is Valfire. It's not decreasing. <laughs> I hate this fucking thing. You can click on the attempt. It. I just hit refresh and hoping that that's going to get it unfrozen. Okay. Um, well, I haven't broken it out yet, so it's time to open my mouth and spew a little fire. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, so it says, I don't even know yeah, what the hell I use for that as far as a roll. Okay, just, just, no, just click on the, um, uh, hang on a second. I think your, your actions or spells are listed on the character yeah, sheet. It's not a, it's not a spell. <laughs> yeah, it should be under okay, actions. Features, traits. Action? Okay, but it doesn't give me anything to click on here except for the damage. It says, it says hit. Oh, it's a save. Decks. It's a save. I have, to get, I have to get a 13 save. Okay. Against my decks. I rolled a six. So now click the damage button. Right. Breath weapon, brass, 2d6. Six. Six damage? That okay. <laughs> hey, you're still level three. <laughs> now that's what I call a tongue lashing. Oh. <laughs> I should have come up with that. <laughs> Quick, write that down. Okay, so did you want to do anything else? Did you want to move or anything? Sorry? Did you want to do anything else? Did you want to move or anything? Do you want to move or anything? I mean, unless I can attack him after the move. No, he, no. <laughs> All right, done now. No, I'm good. No? Okay. Then next up is Nazriel. Right. I was working on freeing our tiefling girl. Um, yeah, little, little girl, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, um, I can't remember how we were handling the, uh, like cutting her free or untying a knot or something. Um, seeing what, one, two, three, four, five, potentially five V one. Uh, I'm focused. I, yeah, and Ezra was going to be focused on uh, both protecting the girl and free and, and freeing her. So, um, whatever action I need to do to uh, finish freeing her or continue to free um, her. Okay, so since you're trying to untie her, I would say roll me a dexterity save. Or, a de yeah, give me a dex roll. Acrobatics? Yeah, for you're going to do a flip over? Well, no, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like the that's the dex kind of maybe. Kind of, hang on a second. I mean, either way, I mean, my dex is plus one. I don't have anything special to acrobatics or sleight of hand. It's just plus one. So, 
Uh, let me see here. I animal handle the not free. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a survival roll. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, that one I have a plus four. Anyway, yeah, no, no. Go. Actually, something else. No, <laughs> no. no yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say idea. with that roll, yeah, you got <laughs> you you basically in one like it, it was like one of those crazy nautical knots, <laughs> and you basically just went like. Whoop. Oh, look, that. That was that simple? <laughs> and it's undone. <laughs> from, from next trick, I will solve a Rubik's Cube in one minute. Do it now! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anything else you want to take care of, or is that, that going to be it? Um, just going to uh, whisper her, whisper to the girl, you know, your your, uh, your dad sent us, and uh, you know, try, to hide out of, hide, try to hide out of the way. Okay. And... Um, if she moves, I'm a, you know, Nazareth's going to make sure he's between her and Dan. Her and the danger. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next up is Duradas. Okay. I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Okay. Which is just versus AC. Uh, I got 11. 11. He has a 12. Boo. And then I will... Uh, you said it was... Um, Valfire was the orange. Yes, you're right next to him. I'll move behind him. Behind him? Okay. Like, oh, the big burly dude. Neat shield. Uh, so I guess it's just kind of like, whoop. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else? Like a cantrip or anything? No, that's all I can do. Okay. All right. Next up is Marcus. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 straight towards so that I can be behind the uh, the guy a little bit. Yep. There. Ah, there. But not face first. Opened up. <laughs> not face first in the dirt, though. Uh, Attack the and... darkness. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, classic. Oh, that's old school. Bunch of nerds. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mace him. Why not? Okay, give me a roll. Does she get advantage on hit since he's behind him? Uh, but he's not flanked. Uh, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you clobbered him. So give me a give me the damage. Take that evil doer. Six points. Okay, and with that. No. <laughs> you basically clobber him upside the head and he's just like, oh, this is some bullshit and just falls over dead. <laughs> we really didn't know him in the first session. Yeah, Noe, Noe basically like did him good. Yeah, Noe put a number on him the first session. <laughs> Noe was just constantly electrocuting him oh, for like, what, three, three or four rounds? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it was, it was three rounds of 2d12. Yeah, and you yeah, you rocked him good. And he's like sitting there going, How much how many hit punches does this guy have? Not many left. <laughs> A lot. Not anymore. <laughs> so basically he just fought like you clobber him upside the head and like his head, like the back of his head caves in. Oh. Just blew. So he is now dead. All right, and we are officially out of combat. Oh, I suppose I was expecting a giant spider then. Unless you guys want to fight each other, since you do not know. Three of you do not know the other three. Could we do like the Spider Man point thing? Or... <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> all right, so with, with Daniel gone, how do you all want to proceed? I hit him one more time. <laughs> Just to make sure. Tap. Yes. He doubled that. Well, he's not moving, I'm, so he doesn't gonna he's gonna put I'm, any uh I'm, I'm kind of he's not gonna resist. I'm kind of practical <laughs> like that. Just whack. What are you here for? <laughs> I wanna walk over and pick up his little you hear, you hear some bones. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do that. I I, I want a sword. <laughs> no, no, I was just saying that, man. Sorry, bro. I'm saying I want to walk over, pick up his pig sticker and put it in his ear. 
All right, you walk on over, pick up his little EPA, his little flimsy little looking EPA, just jam it right into his head. Yep. He's still not. He's still not moving. <laughs> That's good. Take it out. Yeah. Put it on my hip. And Keanu's was like, "Dang it! Who are you, and why are you here?" <laughs> And why are you taking the sword that I was going to take? Because <laughs> I'm mean. Like you better, you better answer fast before he writes a song about you. <laughs> Freaky looking guy stealing my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I smile at him with a little bit of flame coming out of my mouth. Okay. I was like, what you wish for, buddy? I was like, peek behind Valfire, like, huh? <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. Um, so, why are they? Why are you where here? Where Daniel, where Daniel came from? Just so I give you a little thing. Um, where Daniel came from, you can see there's that big wow. spilled. It looks like a bunch of like garbage. That was the table that they were Daniel and all of his friends were all sitting at that got trashed when Keander decided to turn into the electrocutioner. I'm just gonna turn my uh, back to it, everybody and walk over and start milling through stuff over there. Okay. And then the barrels next to that are their like ale supply. And you can't really see it because the shadow of the camera's in the way. I'll just move it a little bit so you can see. It is an altar. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it has, like, a bunch of trinkets and stuff on it that uh, belongs to the Toth family. What do I know so about the, rest, the Toth I family? Leave. So, you, you don't give a Toth? <laughs> no, I want to go over and take a look at it and see if it's anything I recognize. Okay. Can I loot the rest of the bodies? Sure. Nazareel, is she Okay. Someone go check on the girl. Uh, I'm going to take the coins. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, she is. She looked okay, right? Or, or yeah, she, 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 she's been obviously been crying. She looks a little malnourished and dehydrated. Uh, but she's like looking at, she is still like scared. Like she does not know who the hell you guys are. I mean, a giant dragon just ran into the room. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, even though she might be dehydrated, she might have peed a little. Um, I mean, so I she is, like she doesn't know who you are. She doesn't know who you are. She doesn't know who any of you are. She just watched a bunch of people get murdered. So she's okay. still like cowering in the corner, like with her hands like bunched up in front of her on her chest. Like she is, okay. she is afraid. Okay. Uh, right. She. I, I checked. Does she have? Um, uh, okay. Trying to look at my the ring. My notes. She. She has like a. She's. Is she wearing the silver band? Blue yeah, band? you found out last time you saw that she had the ring, and okay. you called her by name. That's right. And uh, what? Um. So I asked her like, hey, will that belong to your mother?" Yep. Okay. And she gonna... she lightens she lightens up a little bit, but I mean like she might can be okay some, with uh... you in general. Hmm? Can I can I use some investigation skills see if any of the stuff that's belonging to the family that I recognize if I would know the family that kind of stuff? Sure. Uh, give me yeah, give me an investigation roll. Why is it rolling? There we go. The hell is B twenty? Hell yeah. Yep. Natural twenty. Okay, yeah. You look at the you walk up to that uh, altar and it's honestly hang on one second. It is it's a, it's a number of small trinkets on the altar. They're dusty, it's dirty. There's pendants, rings, bracelets, and assorted jewelry. None of it really looks like it's valuable. It's just like <clears throat> like heirloom type things that are kind of rusted and Sorry, you know, cut out. Really like that. Huh? None of it look you said none of it looks important. It's like a bunch of like jewelry that was like hand me down type stuff, so it's all kind of rusted. And uh looks like it looks pretty worthless. Like it's been sitting down there for at least a couple centuries. How would I know that it's from that family then? Because there's a big thing across the top of it that says Toth. 
Okay. All right. Because this uh, is their this is their crypt. <laughs> their family music mausoleum. That's what I got from the twenty three. All right, good to know. Yep. <laughs> Your powers right. of deductive reasoning. I'm going to yell across the Naz. Give her something to eat, dude. Yeah. Don't forget, you got your pocket your pocket sandwiches. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, kneeling down. Yeah. Kneeling down next to Kila. Uh, Naz is. Uh, uh, yeah. Really. I'm yeah. chewing my own tongue. Hey, need a pocket Kila, sandwich. Let's, 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 get you, let's get let's get your bed. So, um, getting uh, her um, yeah, whatever some. Yeah, okay, sandwich, so she she's uh, she's still whatever have a flash. Yeah, she's whatever. she's very she's still kind of apprehensive, but she sees the sandwich and you see her kind of like lick her lips a little bit, and then and she just I, kind of snatches it. Yep, and I'll uh and just tur she turns around and just <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll scoot back and uh and give her give her space. I don't want to crowd her. Give her some space. Okay, uh, Keanu. So you're searching all the bodies. Yep. You find twenty gold. Mm -hmm. Five silver and two copper. I will stop being a spider and who are you people? Can I can I roll a perception? Sure. What are you looking for? Well, I'm just gonna try to like trying to size perceive, them up. I'll just try to figure out it's like the situation. So I don't know if oh. that's perception or uh, insight. insight. I'll insight. say insight, yes. That's an insight roll. Oh, oh! I want. I want insight too. Uh, for a thirteen, I'd say uh, you can you you can feel that they're not your enemy. They are not there to hurt you. They were there for basically the same reason you are. So you kind of get like the feeling like they're okay. All right. So I answer. I answer the, the half work that was a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know Jesus. what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, so Keanu and Marcus, since you're standing okay. right there, I want you to roll me a... Hang on a second. Can you move my ass to the other side of the scene here? <laughs> oh, we don't need the map distance. for this. <laughs> Roll me, roll me a, a, I guess, a survival check. So, yeah, Marcus and uh, Keanu. Oh, there's not a shit your pants check? Marcus got a 16. 23. Okay. So, if you got any less than a 15, it was basically <laughs> going to be like bowel evacuation time. Like, you just saw this spider turn into a giant half-orc. <laughs> what you ended up doing is you just kind of go like, yeah, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't know which is scarier. Go back. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with anything less than eight eyes. But then I'm also going to guess. I'm I guessing you're sent here to get years, the years. So, and uh, Duradas, give me an Arcana check. Okay, Arcana fourteen. Uh, so as you're watching Valfire looking over the altar. The like hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Hmm. Do I pick up anything? <laughs> uh, it's up to you. Do you want to pick up a bunch wow. of rusty old shit? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be a grave? I mean, if I if I think you would find a use to it. It, it like I said, it's all it's all rusted, falling apart. Looks doesn't. I'm really a look great like robber. <laughs> All right, it's not worth my time. Got it. Yeah. Okay, so Duradas, what do you want to do? Uh, no, I'll just back up uh, Grexha, assuming she asks the question, like, yeah, who are you guys? The ones sent here to rescue the girl. So it seems like we were hired for the same reason. Who hired? Yeah, that's you. what it seems. Yeah, we're I mean, hired. I'm guessing there aren't too many people who care enough about this girl to spend a lot of money. So I think you know who hired us. It was her dad. <laughs> her her pap pap 
or pop paw. Yeah, it was a guy. That was, I can't remember what was the name of the Oz. 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 Yeah. No, no, no. The uh, the tavern. Oh, the uh, grazing goat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's let's get her well, safely out. I here. guess we'll all just piece her up into six pieces, and we'll all bring a piece <clears> back. <throat> I don't think we get no. paid that much. What's wrong with you? Actually, I'm gonna. That's fucked up. That's fucked I'm gonna. Up. I'll, I'll I'll walk over to. I'm assuming Valfire's by the altar still, so I'm gonna walk over to the altar to kind of like follow the feeling I'm getting, the vibes. Okay. So uh, check uh, things out. As you approach, the hairs on your arm begin just, to raise up like you've been connected to an electrical circuit. Uh, give me another Arcana check. Ooh, seven. Yeah, you didn't need much because this is sit here and play with my claws. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so you you take your hand and you like wave it over the the altar, and like I said, it's a bunch of rusted old junk, you know, old jewelry, um, pendants and whatnot. And as you get to the left end of it, like the uh, there's a. You pull your hand back and see there's a wooden figure underneath it, and it's like a child's carving of an owl bear. Um, it's crude and undetailed, but the creature it represents is pretty unmistakable. Uh, pick it up, and you feel the texture of the smooth wood, offset by the deep grooves caused by the blade using its construction on your fingertips. And a split second later, you see an arc of energy race across its surface, obviously reacting to you in some way. You okay? There? Whoa. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is, but this just reacted. You know what it is. I'm gonna pull it up. Is this the the relic? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Um. Uh oh, I guess in that case, then this is this is what I was promised to come here. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Well, I'm glad you found it. <laughs> Uh, you a fan of uh, whittling over there? Uh, it's you been to ask as a man? To the bar. I'd say it's gener generally uh, something most people might not have interest in, but I have a significant interest in items of magic, mysticism, eldritch powers, you name it. Okay, so you can add that to your inventory. Just have uh, it added in your notes. What what was it again? A it's a it's like a, car a carving of a carving of an owl bear. <laughs> can find hood ornaments. Oh yes, <laughs> magic owl bear statue <laughs> in your pocket. Might want to steal it later. <laughs> I'm going back to the bar. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I was gonna say like, uh, how do you guys want to proceed? Anything else you guys want to take care of in here, or are you guys still chit chatting about who's who, and what's what? I mean, I probably grab a barrel of ale. Who wants to leave free booze? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the question is, who could actually carry it? <laughs> I'm not sure they way. I've got some. Sp I've got some space. <laughs> I was gonna say like I, I would assume like because they're pretty big they're like you know waist high kind of things. Sure. I would say probably probably Valfire okay. could carry one and Grexia could probably carry one. I could carry one, but I'm not inclined to do <laughs> to <Yes>. bother. <laughs> it's like oh the foul yeah. brew. <laughs> oh, not that. Yeah. Not, not that I'm gonna walk, yeah. uh, I'm gonna uh, walk over to it and at the top of one of the barrels just put my finger through the top of it and say, have at it, but I'm leaving. Okay. And just poke a hole uh, in it so some of it will start to pour out and I'm going to leave. Well, before, I guess before we leave, maybe we should, I'll, I'll kind of like make my way back over to the group and be like, maybe we should introduce ourselves. I'm Duradas. Oh, Greksha. Hi, I'm Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Keanu Van Grohl. Yep, we haven't heard of you, Keanu. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be I, the guy who meets you guys back at the bar. I already know Duradas and Gretchen, so 
Uh, we got a long walk back. We can talk all, along the way if you guys don't mind. Yeah. That's Valfire, by the way. <laughs> I'm, Mark. Uh, I'm the smiley let's, one. Uh, let's let's get on our way. Let's get her back to safety. Yeah. So in the meantime, like as all this stuff is happening, like she has basically finished the the sandwich and she's like just licking her fingers, and she's just listening to you guys talk, and she's just kind of like, "Can I go home?" Yes, we will take you yeah. there. That's a good I idea. You home. I'm trying to help you out here, lady, so that we can all get out of here and get you home. Another sandwich? Okay. I offer yeah. mine. We yeah. had a lot of sandwiches. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, I, I more, more. More. So, yeah, you unwrap another sandwich, hand it to her, and she snatches it out of your hand again, just starts nibbling on it like she doesn't want to make herself sick kind of thing, but like... She may be young. She's not stupid. <laughs> she's also probably been starved for a couple of days. Yeah, so she's just kind of nibbling on it now because she ate that first one so much. She lets out this giant belch that kind of echoes throughout the whole catacombs. <laughs> right, um, Naz, Naz asks, all right, uh, all right, hey, Keela, um, are you okay to walk? Or basically, you know, uh, like, check like, that she need to be carried. So like she, she's been sitting down and kind of like, well, actually, she's been on her knees. So she stands up and she just kind of looks at you and just nods her head. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, okay. I'll, so I'll, with that, yeah, stretch my hand out and read, like, can hold her hand, lead her you out. You guys coming? Out. I'm already like okay. up the stairs outside. Uh, now's now's right? coming, right? <clears throat> I'm going to cast oh, uh, cure wounds because I took a I took a few minutes like, back. I'm like. Cast replace we, my head. We made a bit of a mess outside. You might want to direct the girl around. Um, <laughs> disconnect <laughs> the battle cam to do this. To a bus or <laughs> one vertical or something. Yay! There's the rest of us. Um, a mess. Yeah, that was okay. Literally yeah. a half orc. Yeah. Um, please warn us when we're uh, <laughs> right outside the cathedral. It's hard to miss you left a mess mm. the way we <laughs> came in was a little a formerly human mess mm. wow well at least we don't, we don't have to like to out. talk about random clouds of daggers going flying by <laughs> yeah we Which, by the we way did, was, we did not... by the way was caused by a one use scroll that he had in his back pocket wink <laughs> And I, I assure yeah, you, we did not that? mutilate these corpses ourselves. It was magic. It's magic. Wow. You got to be careful. It's this okay, kind of so... it's this time of the year for just random dagger clouds <laughs> flying by. We were, we were able to stick something in the fog <laughs> in full armor. I mean, if you're lucky, but between spring and summer is cloud of dagger season. So almost as bad as the. It's like fog between that fall and out. winter, it's fat squirrel season. So there's the little Simpsons. bits here and there. Gotta be careful. Rapture had some bad luck with trying to be stealthy. It's yeah, best to just kill things. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you guys all head out through the catacombs, back to the way that, that you came. But uh, do you want to take the path that... Took you the way that the first group, which was Keanu, Marcus, and Nazriel, went, or do you want to go the opposite way that the other crew came through? Well, uh, I don't want to crawl under question, that guys. Rock again. How was yeah. your how was how was your travels here? Were they uneventful or a little more boisterous? <laughs> well, we uh, snuck past a couple of guys, I think, or we took them out. I yeah, you. I don't care. Yeah, you, you distracted them, and they walked off, and then you yeah. snuck into the yeah. Uh, yeah. to the mausoleum. Snuck by two guys, but then oh. there was a there was a tight a tight squeeze to get through. So I don't think your kegs are going to fit through that. Yeah, well, no, we, we killed Bell everything Fire from general. here to there. So <laughs> we killed everything yeah, from Fire like, general the, won't fit. We killed everything from the bar to here, so I think it's probably <laughs> safe to go out there. Right now. You sure you are not murder hobos? <laughs> Murder entry. Attacks of opportunity if they didn't want to be disemboweled. Ah, it's only fair. 
Uh, Keanu. Okay, so I take it. I, I take you taking the second this. cruise. Yeah. yeah, you're taking the second cruise path. Then, <laughs> we'll have guess, to take right? the second cruise path. Um, okay, so we'll it takes a little while to squeeze through. Kid. Yeah, it takes a little while for you all to kind of squeeze through the tunnels, especially. Well, Valfire made his way through the last time. It's pretty easy. Um, you get outside, and it's dusk now. Uh, and the path is clear. The there's obviously two slashed up bodies that have been slashed up beyond recognition on the ground outside the uh the chapel <laughs> like, happens to the best of us yeah they look but for the most part it looks it looks pretty clear there's no sight of the other two dudes from daniel's group of thieves and kidnappers so head back to baldur's gates okay Definitely. So it's going to take about an hour for you guys to walk back. And along the way, I would say about, about halfway point, everybody give me a uh, perception roll. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Seven. Mm -hmm. Is it strange that I can't find the perception? It should be in the skills it's under that list. Yeah, that center list, that column. Oh, additional column. senses types. Ugh. No, it's. I mean, if, if you see to like the right of that animal handling arcana, it's down there. Ooh. Mm, that long column of skills. I rolled a one, but got a four. Jesus. Go, Keanu. God damn. This is better than the natural one I rolled in the market. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we are not very perceptive right now. <laughs> I have a plus five. I just can't roll for crap. Okay, so you guys see the sun setting. <laughs> well, I, I rolled a natural twenty. That's okay. That's because that's all you see. There, that's all there is to see. <laughs> it's called GM fucking with you. <laughs> ah, GM so, fuckery. It looks like it's. I can perceive the girl like getting ready to fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see you can see that she's huffing a little bit though. I'll say that Keanu notices that she's huffing just a little bit. Um, oh yeah, it's like a, like like, like walking for a straight hour after being starved and yeah. you know dehydrated for two or three days. Yeah, uh, guys, okay. we need to slow down, or someone needs to carry the little one. Well, um, oh okay, yeah. Um, and, uh, if, if anybody put her up is, on my uh, shoulders, I don't know how we're gonna... Oh, well, isn't this isn't just the cutest thing? <laughs> <laughs> just hold on to the horns, or we set up camp. <laughs> oh, god, or you can just put like one of the little, little uh, or what do they call it, the little straps that you guys use to like the, the, the yeah, the bridle just tie it around her horns and just drag her along. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so you guys get back to town. Nothing to uh, to report on the way there. Just the path was the same. You kind of can smell a little bit of rotten stuff along the way from those dudes you killed on the side of the road. Um, you get back to the grazing goat and enter, and immediately the smell of baking bread and roasting meats fill your nostrils. There is another party happening, uh, this time centered around the bar area. Uh, a group of 12 humans wearing leather armor and swords hanging at their sides are all holding aloft large tankards of ale, uh, saluting to a victory of some kind. Uh, the wooden mugs clink together, amber liquid splashes from within and lands on the floor. Uh, they begin to chug their drinks like college kids at a kegger. Thing is, uh, you have Kilo with you. Do you actually want to walk into the rest of the, uh, the restaurant? We should... Check out that things were clear. I'm thinking maybe yeah, through I, I the back door. Right because Oz wanted you to stash her somewhere. That's uh, that's right. Yeah, we can keep her safe somewhere. Can't just bring her right into. As a, she'll get attention being brought into. Uh, Would anyone happen to own a stash house? Na Nazriel, can you take her to your church? <laughs> <laughs> His church. <laughs> if I remember. Church. You mean his former uh, church? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oops. It was that one church that we popped into and it was very awkward. <laughs> <'cause it's> like, 
What the hell you guys doing here? Uh, I do remember that, that there was, was there was a girl that I uh, uh, can't remember what the name Jinx. Jinx, Jinx? Yeah. yes, Jinx. Uh, Jinx. She said she would be behind the grazing goat, and she could help us if we need a stash spot. Oh. Maybe that's right. Okay. Okay. So you want to uh, see if Jinx is hanging out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before okay, so you walk into the restaurant, you see this party, you're like, uh-uh. <laughs> Head right back out. And Keela, I would say, is between everybody, so she can't she isn't really visible. Head out to the back, and sure enough, Jinx is back there digging through the trash. And uh <laughs> she's not really paying much attention to you, so Hey Jinx. <laughs> what are you talking about? She knows me. She's on my list of allies. Yeah, but yeah, but you still snuck friends. up on her. You snuck up to her, so she's like, "Oh, okay." I'm gonna, I'm gonna stealth in through the party to try to get in to find Oz. Okay. So I'm okay. So I'm wow. The party. Okay. So yeah, who's going where? Who's going to see Jinx and who's going to check the Oz situation? Jinx. Jinx. Okay. Jinx. Oz. All right, so I'm going in alone to go get Oz. No, you're no. not. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's going to stop off at the like, bar. I sit there and I look and I'm like, Nazareel, you have this. And I, <laughs> I have to go care for our wayward friend. <laughs> follow Keanu. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't get distracted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so uh, Marcus and Keanu head back into the bar, casual-like. Uh, the rest go back to the dumpster to hang out or to see if Jinx is there. Like I said, she is there. Snuck up on her, gave her a little bit of a scare, but she's okay. She's like, oh, God, okay, so I know you. And she points at Volfire, and she looks at Greg. She goes, I know you. Who they? Your <clears throat> friends. The best. Friendly neighborhood paladin? Or who's he? Because Who's he? Show them baby. Well, I can't say that. I'm not with you guys. <laughs> hey. Which one? <laughs> so uh, oh, yeah, she's like, who's oh, this the new guy? guy? Yeah, the who's guy? that? Like she's pointing pointing right at Nazriel. He's, he's shiny. He's shiny. <laughs> I, I am shiny. <laughs> Just call him shiny. He's like really he funny. looks he looks dangerous because he has the big pointy. <laughs> Uh, Meaning your gigantic freaking sword. <laughs> uh, He's this girl's protector. And point that she kind of like he's uh kind of like looks looks past Nazriel and sees like her sees Keila's head like peek out from behind him and then she just kind of ducks behind him again. She's like, <laughs> "What is this?" <laughs> it's like you guys are into some shit. <laughs> yeah. We need to keep her safe for just a little while. Oh, okay. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> you know, like how I helped you out earlier, kind of a thing. Uh. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you could take her back to, like our our place, and she like winks. She's like, not much of a place, but it's out of sight. Thanks. I'm I'm sure that's funny. Okay. All right. So uh, she's like, well, personally, me personally, she's like, I'm busy. I got mouse to feed. She's like, that gold you gave me the other yesterday, you know, or earlier today, didn't really go very far. So I'm going to keep rooting through this trash. But she's like, if you take, she like basically like points her hand down the alley. She's like, two blocks down, two blocks to the right. She's like, you'll see a burned house. You can't miss it. That's where all my uh, my cast... sewer rats hang out. I want to cast message, which is a cantrip uh, on Nazriel and Marcus, so the message three can stay in contact. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did, um, did you guys so she just kind of goes, "You got that? You got that? Do I need to explain it again? Do you need me to to give you more detailed directions?" It's like I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, 
red haired one. <laughs> I can't remember if her so name was. You guys going to uh, go, Jinx. Where she, go where she directed? Oh. Jinx. Jinx. I like in the conversa natural conversation, like, did anybody actually say her name? Uh, I would say that Dollfire I mean, was like, well, Jinx. Or no, D Duridas was like, yeah, Jinx. Go talk to Jinx. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Jinx. Okay. And in the meantime, uh, you got Keanu and Marcus inside the, the restaurant. And what are you doing? Marcus, we got to have one. One, one. <laughs> of everything. Uh -huh. what a, no. Let's have an ale. We, we just kicked that guy's ass. I'm having an ale. I'll buy you an ale because I no. stole all the money out of those people's pockets. <laughs> Actually, I get free ale in this in because uh, I was the entertainment. Uh, yeah. Who's the dwarf again? The the name? Uh, Ananto. 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 <clears throat> call, call Ananto over. Anato. Okay. There's some ale. Yeah. And I give him so the see Anato's head like his head like comes over the pass. He's like, what? There's some ale that is in several barrels of ale over in this location. If you have workers, you can go get it. No one no one will claim it right now. He goes, pure profit. <laughs> See that you tithe, uh, and surely, surely that's good for a tankard or two now. <laughs> yeah. Well, being that Persuasion. it's you, Persuasion. he like nods at the Plus bartender. Seven. The bartender, yeah, the bartender <clears throat> looks at him and Nato just kind of goes like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, just do it." Yeah, yeah. Even if you wanted to do that, that would work. <laughs> uh, Anato, do you know where uh, Oz is? Yeah, give me both of you. Give me a perception check. Sorry, that's persuasion. Misclicked. Oh, sorry, a uh, perception check. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, I rolled a 20. So it's not a 27, but it would be a 24. God damn it. <laughs> I think that passes. Yeah, I would so, say so. I hope so. So you notice as you're like scanning the crowd, sitting in the corner, far away from all the commotion, you can make out the silhouette of a tiefling at a table. Mostly concealed in the shadows, Oz takes note of your presence by subtly nodding his head in your direction. So, uh, as Marcus probably didn't see with a seven, I'm going to use the message and tell him he's in the corner. Don't look. Talk back so. in the message. Let's go get some meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Last time we were, we went down to the meat cellar. I'm going to roll constitution. I'm going to start laughing if I roll low. Okay, I see. In a prose, dude. In a prose. This needs to be a running, a running thing about just going to get going some meat. To, going into the meat cellar. All right. Whose turn is it? Okay, so. Oh. Huh? <laughs> That's a bad joke. All right, so since uh, Oz acknowledged you, Keanu, he just he just kind of goes like, kind of nodding toward that meat seller again. <laughs> so he kind of casually gets up and walks right past you like he doesn't know you, and just kind of heads back in the kitchen. And as you as he does, you're Ananto behind the the pass again, going like, what the dude <laughs> don't worry or not <laughs> and he heads on down to the meat cellar right. oh really you're gonna do a, a stealth well i just want to make sure that no one's <coughs> not attracting any us. attention yeah so i'd say I with the 23 you're... yeah you yeah you just kind of like blend into the crowd and just Slink on down there. And then there's Marcus. <laughs> In his half plate armor. It's only chain mail. Okay. Clink, 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 clink. Huh? 
Okay, so in the meantime, uh, the rest of you head over to that burnt out building. And you get there, and yeah, it's just as she described. It is like it used to be some sort of a business. You can't really tell, but it's just the windows are all burned out. It is charred beyond belief. There is sort of a roof overhead, but it's kind of been falling apart over the years. And uh, you casually head inside. You guys want to want to like stealth it a little bit to see if anyone kind of jumps out at you, or do you want to perception it? I'm perceptioning it for sure. Oh, oh no. perception. Ooh, look, a rat. Five. Oh, look, another rat. <laughs> oh, oh look, doing? another rat. <laughs> this place has a lot of rats. <laughs> I will say with the eight, you hear something inside. Is it a rat? It could be. <laughs> it could. It could very well be. Um, I don't want to sneak because I don't want them to think I'm trying to steal from them. Okay, then what do you what do you want to do? Just uh, walk in. I'm definitely okay. uh, mentally passed along to the uh, to the other guys about the, where we where we took uh, Kila. Okay, make sure that was on record. <laughs> yep. So you messaged uh, him. I want to. I want to do. Uh, investigation check to see what we're walking into if there's any obvious traps or anything like that since okay. they are I mean, basically all little yeah. scabs those, those street urchins well shit Undesirable. i'll investigate as well okay one look rats <laughs> <laughs> just... i think there's a lot with of rats a ten, with a 10 with a 10 like so uh, what was it? Duradas heard something, or was it Greksha that I rolled the eight last time? I did. Okay, so Greksha, Greksha heard something. You can kind of see stuff moving around in the shadows in deep inside the room, but you can't really make out it like what it is. But you can definitely see some movement. Hi, Jinx sent us. All right, so you see like a head poke around a corner. Oh. We just need to said that for a little while. So you see this like street jinx. urchin kid. Yeah, you see this street urchin kid walk out wearing real tattered clothes. His toes are poking through his shoes because they're so worn. And he looks very malnourished. But he does have like really good posture, so he's not completely, you know, gone. Um, and he steps out. And he's just kind of like, where'd you see her at? Out back behind the girl and the goat. The grazing goat. What they said. Okay. Okay, give me a persuasion check. Uh, Greksha. <laughs> oh, no. And you go you things. A minus one. <laughs> um, yeah, like Jinx home, thing. Um... Jinx girl thing. Garbage. Yuck. <laughs> Purple. Uh, maybe... <laughs> may may I try yes, to you may. clarify that um <laughs> head that's poking at <laughs> Yeah, so okay, so um yeah, Jinx sent us. She was behind the grazing goat and um have an eighteen. Uh, we were told we could uh provide safety for a, a little girl in need here. Did you see she kinda of like looks or he looks over and he sees like Kila poke her head out. And he sees just how, like, she does look like she's, you know, hasn't eaten in a couple days, so he's kind of, like, feeling sorry for her. He's like, oh, a little thing. He's like, come over here. And he pulls Can out. An inside like, check? <laughs> sure. I'll keep a hand on, on her shoulder. I don't know if I'm close enough 
to still use message, but I'm gonna be like, sandwiches, give them more sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> the only way one we have left is yours, Keanu. That's your that's your insight roll, the twenty-three. <laughs> uh yeah, Belfer got ten, I got twenty-three. Okay, yeah, so it's it's honest, like he honestly feels remorse for how she looks and everything, so it's sincere. All right. So uh, you, you see him, you see him like go like this behind the wall and like a couple of other younger kids. I want to say maybe like, you know, between like 11 and 15 come out and one of them has like a cask of water that looks like he's been gathering like rainwater through a hole in the ceiling. And uh, the one that's been talking to you pulls out a glass and they pour her a glass of water and they hand it to her. All right. Um, and she like, she grabs it and she like starts to sniff it. It's, it looks like she's, She's not wincing, so it smells okay. All right, go ahead, Keely. It's not okay. tea. She takes a sip and she goes, <laughs> "It's good, <laughs> good, good." Drunk on water. <laughs> then she dies of too much water. <laughs> yeah, she actually coughs a little bit because she drank too much too soon. <laughs> um. So, in the meantime, meat cellar. So, Oz is down there. meeting room. Wait, is yeah. that Keanu's band name? Meeting. meeting room, yes. Oh, the greatest unintentional pun. That needs yeah. to be your band name. <laughs> meat quilt. Okay, did it. Okay, did it. Halstead and Belmont. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get down there, and Oz is standing in the corner, and mm. he's like, Okay, so what happened? We ran the into douche, other people? <laughs> the douche is dead. You see him kind of perk up a little bit. And we got the girl, but there were like three others that came in right behind us. <laughs> and almost... Did you did you did you double book this job? <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> So you see him kind of like, kind of like leans back and he's like, <sighs> he's like, what would you have done if she was your daughter? He's like, I had to give her the best odds of surviving. And I hired two parties. It seemed like the option that would give her the greatest chance to live. So if one failed, the other one had a better chance of succeeding, having caused distractions, taking out some of Daniel's men, that sort of thing. And thankfully to my eternal pleasure, my plan kind of worked. Number one, don't use the term eternal pleasure. That's just weird. <laughs> we are in the meat locker. Even more so. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Come on. She's, we got her in a stash house. Jinx. It's like, wait, 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 wait. But first, were you seen by anybody? Were you? No, I'm pretty sure we killed everybody that saw us there. No, I mean like in town, like kind of thing. Nobody saw you walking through with Keela. I mean, we don't think so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how many of his crew? A... How many of his crew survived? Pretty Two. sure we. Marcus, Maybe. we walked by a lot of dead bodies on the way out. You're yeah, I'd right. say the only two that were left were the two that you guys like snuck by. Two, probably. And I don't think they will try their luck after they've seen what's happened to everyone. Okay. Just a quick sidebar. Uh, are those the two that we killed on the way down? When Greg shot turned into a bear? I think it was. I think it was from the other because they came in through the other the side. Other party. Yeah, uh, Keanu, yeah. Keanu, Marcus, and Azriel snuck by too to get into the chapel or to get into the uh, mausoleum. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Okay. So okay, yeah. So probably two survived. In the meat locker, right? Yeah. Got it. Anyway, so okay, so where where do you have her at? So just come with us, we'll take you to her. It's like I don't want to be seen with you guys. I need to we need to do this separately. Come with us if she wants to live. <laughs> All right. Marcus, you want to try to take him back that way? I'll go up on stage and cause a distraction. Okay. I think that's something you'll be good at. 
And then Keanu relayed to Marcus where they had taken Keela. Yeah. Well, so I cast message through, so it's with all yeah. the three of us yes. from our party. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Nazriel told you, you told, okay, so good, 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 good. Okay, so yeah, sure enough, Keanu, you go upstairs. Daniel's a douche. He's yes. a dead douche. <laughs> the song you composed all the way there and back. He yeah. got tased so many times. It was hilarious. Ha ha. Yeah. Okay. So like everybody that knew that party that I was talking about that was at the bar with all the frat boys and all that, they all look at you and they're all kind of like, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Do I, do I have to roll performance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you get a All right, and uh, advantage. <laughs> yeah, roll advantage. Yeah, roll me a performance check. I just did twenty-two. Oh, twenty-two. Oh. Okay, yeah. Like everyone in the, everyone in the whole place is just kind of like, "Woo! God <laughs> damn!" <laughs> All right. Well, so at the meantime, much. Marcus. Be kind to your bartenders, tip your waitresses. <laughs> and then Marcus sneaks out with Oz through the front door. So you want to give me a stealth roll, Marcus? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Do I have to? With advantage, says because the distraction was so awesome. Yeah, the, well, yeah. That I would say about advantage. my disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me another one. So a nine. <laughs> he said he had disadvantage. So I have disadvantage. So. Oh, well, I would say with the. Okay, so yeah, they, they canceled each other out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Oh no! The like you're you're clinking and clanking. But thankfully, no one Keanu's, Keanu's is playing pretty loud, so. <laughs> He's clinking and clanking along with him. I'm expecting Oz to not be next to me, but stealthily. Well, like, he's, yeah, he's like, he's like behind you. He's, he's basically like five <clears throat> or six steps behind you, but he's not even looking in your direction. He's just kind of like, yeah, we just happen to be going the same way. Yep. So you get out and head on to the dilapidated house okay so you guys walk in and you, you see the other members of the party inside keela is like nursing this glass of water and uh there's about three or four little street urchin kids kind of just hanging around or trying to cheer her up just kind of like jumping around and doing what they would do normally on the street to kind of get cash or whatever just kind of like <laughs> doing little games and stuff and she's just kind of like <laughs> You know, she's she's a little suitably cheered up compared to what she was like when you found her. Perfect. So Oz walks in, sees her, and she takes one look at him and she's like, and uh -huh. she looks so excited that she passes out. Oh, oh no. So she basically like gets you see her getting like a little lightheaded, and then she just kind of like, heals over. One of the kids kind of catches her and like puts her down. She's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> uh, Oz runs over to her, grabs her by her, you know, pulls her head up to his like chest, and he's like, "I cannot thank you enough for bringing her back to me alive. I'm truly in your debt." And uh, he kind of like looks around, and he's he's taking a moment, but he like grabs. He like reaches, he's still holding her with one hand, but the other hand like reaches behind his back and he pulls out like a, a coin purse and he tosses it over to Marcus. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh where's where's the rest of it? Well, you're the one that escorted him, so he obviously thinks you're trustworthy enough. Uh he <laughs> and, okay, so you didn't accept money straight up, Duradas. You were just looking for the relic, right? Uh, he offered the relic and 30 gold. Okay. Everybody gets 30 gold. Nice. So, yeah, there's 180 gold inside the pouch. Everybody split it up. Everyone gets 30. And... Uh, He's like, here's what you're owed. I wish it was more, but you know, he kind of like goes, eh. not to worry. But uh, he goes, glad you two were able to get be put 
uh, brought together again. But he's like, if you ever need anything, just hopefully I'll be right behind you. Because <laughs> I'm a ninja. Uh, he's like, okay, so I need to get out of here with her. I need to get her somewhere safe. So if you guys want to head out now, leave me with Keela. Uh, I'll wait here until nightfall to ensure that we're not seen. And please, you do not know me or the existence of my daughter. You please should be safe. Also, this place to <clears throat> these kids don't have much. Yeah. He goes, oh, don't worry, I'll help him out for letting her stay here. And then, for, honestly, I'm going to be staying here for another couple of hours. So I guess I'll take care of them. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and was it Jim guys at this place? Or was there a, an, was it only kids at this place, or was there like an adult? Like no, there was just it was just like her uh, Jinx's little gang of street urchins, like the little panhandling kids and stuff. I so like everyone gets their gold and everything, and like they're they're talking, and I walk over back over to Oz, and hand him ten gold back and say, "Buy everyone food." Oh, okay, like that was unexpected to hit for him. He's just kind of okay. Please <laughs> make, you know, please please take care of them while you're here. I will trust me. I will. Catholic children charity over here. <laughs> <laughs> I am awful lawful good. <laughs> awful lawful, right? Yep. yep. Nice. Awful nice. Awful. Right. Okay, so. Well, it's been fun, guys. How do you guys want to continue? Well, I'm going go to get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to go find a decent hotel. Crazy goat. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So I'm going to go find a decent hotel. Okay. There are rooms at the Grazing Goat. And if that's the finest establishment in town, then I guess that's what I'm going it for. It pretty much is. It's like in the middle of the center. It's in the center of town, and it's it's like the destination spot, basically. Uh, I'll offer up. Uh, I'll buy everybody around. Do you want to join at the Grazing Goat? Sure. So, yes. um, if we're going Plus, back we have to go get Keanu before he finds himself in trouble. He said that he mentioned. Well, yeah, you left. You left. You got one man left behind. He's just he's still, he's just standing there performing, going like, "I don't know what's going on, guys." He, he mentioned trying one of everything, and I'm pretty sure he meant drink. But unfortunately, I believe he will start moving on to redhead, blonde, brunette, <laughs> or <laughs> elf, yes. arm, leg. <laughs> Goblin, kobold, yeah, bug, bug bear, <laughs> you know, furries. Yes. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> if you have a member of your party that has a tail that he can remove, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, so oh. is everybody heading to the the goat? Yeah, I just want to throw out there that uh, when they get back to the grazing goat, um, as well swing back uh, to the to the to the rear if uh, if Jinx is still there, he'll uh, uh, slip her um, like f uh, five gold for her help to uh, you know for okay for yeah, you she, and, she for you was, and your... yeah she was still digging through the trash or whatever and she sees it she's like did you find it oh yeah yep thank you and uh, like, awesome. this is for you and your uh, your friends. She like you put the gold in her hand. She looks at it. She goes, "Fuck digging through the trash." <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "I'm out." <laughs> she just she just scurries away. And as she's scurrying away, she's like, "By the way, you're you're cool. You're cool. I like you. You're cool." <laughs> and she runs away. <laughs> Reputation points. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So. You head inside, and you can still you can kind of hear Keanu playing on the outside of the restaurant. And as you head inside, you see him up on stage, and he's just going absolutely nuts. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that was that. thunderstruck. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, over the din of everything, like the, the people cheering and hooting and hollering and the music, you can kind of hear Ananto laughing from behind the pass in the kitchen, obviously joking around with the sous chefs during this like uh, lull in business because nobody's buying food or drink anymore. Everyone's just watching the show. Uh, you head to a table large enough to accommodate the six of you, and before you have even scooted your chairs inward to settle in, Ananto is standing there before you with a broad smile across his bearded face. He's like, hello again, my friends. <laughs> Pleases me more than you know that a number of my patrons have crossed paths looking at all three of you, or all six of you. Well, five of you, because Noe or uh, Keanu is up on stage. But he's like, I'm glad that everyone's crossed paths, because he knows pretty much every single one of you. Um, Ananto takes a long look at Valfire, sizing him up, and he's like, but though, I have not had the pleasure, sir. Like, I am Ananto Cleese, owner and head chef of this establishment, and he reaches out his hand to shake yours. Nice to meet you, Ananto. Cool. He's like, pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Not many dragonborns come through these parts, so I'm always pleased when I'm graced by their presence. So, and at that, uh, Keanu's <laughs> set is over, and you okay. see your, your little group of friends and sort of new friends sitting at this one table talking to Ananto. Hmm. And the girls are like behind you going like, <laughs> and the men are <laughs> yeah and the guys are like fuck this guy <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna call out to Anato it's like hello again my friend it's like I will be needing my standard room and one for each of my friends here for the night with our usual deal as usual He's like, well, that's kind of one of the reasons why I came over here. Oh. So he pulls out one of the chairs from the other tables and kind of apologizes to the people who are dining there. He's like, you're not using this. I'm like, okay, I'll do it right back. Sits down and he's like, so would the six say that you're a team now? Like an adventuring party, per se? Um, what did you have in mind? Sure. He's like, because I just so happen to be in need of the services of such a group. Is it a treasure? He's like, would you be interested in hearing my proposition? What's the job and what's sure? the pay? Oh, you're right. One minute, though. One minute, though. One minute, though. It's always better to hear a job offer over a meal. <laughs> so he <laughs> likes, he like, you, like, you have never <laughs> seen a hill dwarf move this fast. Like, he is up and gone. <laughs> Uh, he hustles back into the kitchen, and as soon as he passes the threshold, you can hear pots and pans rustling, Ananto barking orders at his crew and other professional kitchen-type noises. And sure enough, within one minute, Ananto approaches your table again with two massive platters of food, like way more than six people can eat in one sitting. And he places the steaming trays covered in meats and vegetables and whatnot that give off heavenly aromas that fill up the entire space around you. I want everyone to roll a constitution check. Hello. Hello. Is that Hello. Oh, sure. Constitution. Tell me who rolls under. Yeah, Constitution check. Who rolls under fifteen? Check a. or save. Uh, a check. Oh. Oh, it's the same. Uh. I rolled under a fifteen. Okay. I rolled a five. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Anybody who rolls under a 15, you absolutely cannot control the smile that spreads across your face as your olfactories are overstimulated by the gorgeous feast that has just been laid out in front of you. <laughs> it is like, it is almost <laughs> like you have never been exposed to food before. It's just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining Homer Simpson with the giant ice cream thing and he goes, Kish! just goes face down and do it. Okay. So Ananto's like, so here's my proposal. There is a massive wedding reception happening here in three weeks. 
the children of two of the most prominent families in all of Baldur's Gate. So you can imagine the ridiculous amount of food they have requested to be served to their guests. So I've had to place a special order from the butchers and farmers of El Terrell for some of the priciest produce you're likely to ever see. I need you to make sure that sh the shipment gets back here intact. My reputation as a restaurateur is on the line, so I need people I can trust. What are the family names? I'm sorry, what? The names of the people that are getting married. What are their family names? Oh, well, I didn't quite think of that because I didn't think it was important. <laughs> <laughs> Let Bob. me hit up one of those many be randomizers be I found be. online. Taking, taking a job for a mob family, you know, there's risks and stuff, you know. <laughs> You know the you know Players the rest. Will always ask for info you didn't care about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's my that's my curse, man. Well, it could uh, be something that I it could be someone I know. It's the marriage of the flibbles and the tribbles. So where where are we? I have a whole long El list of allies and enemies here, buddy. You said it's El Terrell is where we need to go. El Terrell. Lane generator. Hey now. So the 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 woman who's getting married, her name is Sherza Garretster. <laughs> it's spelled S O I A R T Z E. That's going to be my next vicious mockery. Yeah. <laughs> and the last name is Garrister, which is G-E-R-R-I-T-S-D-R. -R whatever. It keeps cutting out. And, uh, and the bride or the groom is Calicles Postel. So, so a Jewish girl is marrying a cat? Sure. K-A-L-L-I-K-L-E-S, -L -L -E and then Postel is P-O-S-T-E-L. Calico sounds like a skin condition. It does, doesn't it? It's like I got calicles on my ankles. <laughs> uh, they like are, they are, they are not, they are not mob families. Case. Yeah, they are not mob families. I know what you're thinking. He's like they are just the elite rich of Baldur's Gate. Um, so. El Terrell is slightly less than 200 miles away to the east, about 10 days on foot there and 10 back. Uh, I need I need people to travel to El Terrell, get the goods, escort them back without losing any of it. It is safe to assume that the word has gotten out about this wedding since these are two of the most prominent rich families in town. So I'm pretty sure thieves and other types are definitely going to be on the prowl to steal whatever they can get their hands on, including the food. Can but in return... In the town? Say what? I just want to find out how, how much I would know about what's going on in town. Oh, so roll me, like a, roll me a history check. Nineteen. Yeah, you know that they are, like you said, like some of the most elite families. Like they just come from old money. Uh, one of them runs a mine, and the other one runs like a a bread baking company that has gone franchise and it's moved outside of uh, Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so yeah, so they're just, it is just money. Baldur's money. Gate. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> essentially like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a Panera. Less douchey though. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's not like a mob thing or any, any of that kind of stuff. It's, it's just like old money and hard earned money. But but yes, these you these two kids do have the reputation of being some of the most spoiled POSs you've you've heard of in the town, which is why they've requested all this crazy shit for the wedding. So I wouldn't have had Just any connection with like my family and their family kind of stuff because they're new money, we'll say. Yeah, I would say the bread the bread baking family is the new money and the the mining family is the old money, because that mine has been handed down from generation to generation. And so the bride is old money and the groom is new? Yeah. 
Just in case Panera was thinking of sponsoring this uh, particular D and D campaign. Guess what? That's not like happening to, uh, now because I just called them douches. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, like to, we'd like to confirm that DM's remarks do not represent the, the opinions of all players and the production no, here. No, no, not at all. No. <laughs> You fucked up Delicious. my opportunity for bread bowls, man. I will drive up to Chicago. Tides of Flame official bread bowls coming to the nearest Panera near you. <laughs> right, but so he says, no... "Oh, so yeah, what?" All I was saying is, is, so there's no like, there's no connection that I would recognize as like family to family kind of. Yeah, connections. nothing, nothing like criminal or anything like that. No, it's it's just yeah, it's just old money and new money. Rich people that have way too much money that they know what to do with. Yeah, that's most of them. Yeah. So, Lenato says, in return for all of this, he's like, I know you're thinking about payment. He's like, um, I will give you all room and board here at the restaurant for two months. Uh, three suites upstairs for you to share, and all of your meals are covered for that time. And he kind of like hunkers down a little bit close to the table and kind of whispers a little bit. He's like, I know you did a job for Oz. He's like, my lips are sealed. I'm not, my, my eyes work. I can't hear this. Uh, yeah. My lips are sealed and I don't want to hear about the details. But if you return from <coughs> something that has to do with the unseen hand with all your limbs still attached, you are the kind of people I need for this job. So what do you say? So I'm sorry I missed that. It, room and board for two months and we're not going to be here to enjoy it. And what else? Well, no, like once you come back, you're going to be gone for about 20 days, but you get two months of room and board starting tonight. But I mean, he's not going to add, he'll add those 10, the 20 days that you're going to be gone to. He'll account for that. Yeah. Yeah. He'll account so for that's, that. that's, that's the only payment. Yeah. You get a place to live for that's two straight months and free right, food. Free food. Payment for free food. And... What is, what does it go for for a night? Uh, his place, because like I said, it is one of the more expensive places. His this place is about fifteen gold per night. He can't offer us gold, but he can offer us a service that we can't get anywhere else. And great food. And the women. <laughs> He's not offering you the women. And, and, and basically, and basically, and basically, unlimited ass in Keanu's uh, case. <laughs> So if I could pay for that on my own, my question for you would be, what do you have to offer me outside of that? Uh, when was the last time you actually had official, dra like real dragonborn like food, like traditional dragonborn food? Last time I was home. How long ago was that? What is that, raw cow? That's, you're not, <laughs> you're not, you're, you're not. You're not selling me on it, so I I just I if you have something else to offer that I'm in. Otherwise, by all means, you guys enjoy the uh, embassy suites of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> it's like a nine hundred gold throw, value. I can, yeah, I can throw in I can throw in some coin too. He's like, uh, if if you can make this back here, if you can bring all that stuff back here without losing any of it, he's there's a bonus of fifty gold per person. Be nine hundred and fifty gold. Base of operations. That's what it is. Six of us. We take up jobs for two months. I could find some magic stuff. And we know that in like chapter five, it's going to get burned down. <laughs> <laughs> one, one. See all the fire around the screen. Or it's going to get flooded because we're on the coast. Yeah. One thing. You never one know. Thing the Sharknado added. might come through. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, Ananta. Hmm. You have to negotiate future adventures for us during the time of our stay. You want me to be your bookie? <laughs> Essentially. Fixer. Fixer. Fixer's I believe the term is I believe the term is agent. Zordon. That might might the talent scout. <laughs> Zordon. <laughs> it's like I'm not putting together I mean, a base. A basketball team. <laughs> I thought that's what Keanu was, was a talent scout. <laughs> no, he no, just I'm scouts. He just scouts talent. <laughs> yeah. He has a, oh, he has a talent for scouting. I know what's happening. I'm sure he has a casting couch upstairs, too. He's like, with the amount of people that come through this place, he's like, I meet all types. And sure enough, I hear 
stories of people needing jobs done and stuff like that. There's business meetings that happen here, that kind of thing. I can actually, if you can pull this one off, like I asked, I will definitely like whenever I hear something like that, like that happening in the restaurant, like a conversation like that, I will definitely step in and throw your name into the mix. Okay. All right. If it'll lead to future and, stuff. And can... So, so there is future profit in it for you as well. Persuasion check. Will you outfit us? How for so? The journey. Like for I mean, provisions are, are, and stuff. Like, are we going to have to walk there? Are you going to give us carts and horses to carry all this stuff back? Well, the the stuff will be with horses and carts when you get there. Hmm. So you're not you're not dragging this on your backs. There will be a horse drawn cart with you, or they're waiting for you. They're just waiting for an escort so we're gonna, there. We're just we're going to be grocers for twenty days, basically. We're, gonna, we're going to be an escort for the people making the delivery. Escort yes. missions. Fucking VIPs. <laughs> <laughs> like these are the rich. <laughs> Yeah, I hope this so, isn't like a he's like, yes, this. The... He's like, you get perks for me, and oh. then after, if like I said, if the if you guys pull this off the way that I asked, then yes, there is definitely future jobs in the future. I said future twice. Well, uh, I mentioned I'm it's been a long day. I, I'm in, <laughs> but I have one last thing to ask for. Get me an audition to play at the wedding. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Because that's a huge <laughs> paycheck. And Someone's are these going to be your backup guy. dancers? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Couldn't afford me. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely see Valfire playing the bass. <laughs> are your high kicks? Just, <laughs> dude, just, just play E over and over again. That's all I got to do. <laughs> 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 all right so all right. do we have a deal I'm so, in. i mean if Keanu's in bellfire yeah. seems skeptical may we discuss this i mean i'm sorry what may we discuss this amongst ourselves please absolutely absolutely so he's like i'll be in the kitchen if you need me just just call my name and I'll come running back. Thank you. <laughs> I okay, so. just want to find out what's happening to my homeland, and I don't see how this gets me any closer to that. Um, to be completely frank, I come from a family of wealth, so free shit is not really appealing, to be completely honest. That's why... All right, well, 50 gold for 20 days of my life is that's shit. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm just being honest. Like, if he wants to say two months of you can stay here for two months, that's great. I don't stay anywhere for two months. So, you know, a okay. punch card for every day that I stay, you know, and it'll give me a 60 stays and my 61st is free like i can afford to pay 60 days here if i have to i'm just saying like it's not if you, look if everybody here is in then sure always three weeks of my life to handle some groceries but i'm just saying i don't i there's i feel like there's greater evils out there than a fucking wedding party but i mean if i was the videographer that would be a greater evil <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a potential connection to to bigger and better things. Future wedding. This is also like, getting, this is also getting you out in an area you haven't been at before, Greg, so that you could possibly find out some stuff along the way or back, and maybe even in town at the other in uh, in uh, El Toro. I'm in kind of with Greg in here. I'm kind of sitting with Greg right now. So, I mean, you guys want to throw some persuasion rolls? By all means, I'm listening. Yeah, that's not it's not to say that things aren't gonna happen along the way that could possibly be what you're interested in. No, I'm I mean, playing my character, man. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Is that the hand of God just telling me to shut the fuck up and go? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Why is there an invisible wall here? Why can't I 
I have to walk this way. So I mean, it's not to say you can't you can't ask Ananto for something specific if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, I don't know even what he would have that would be helpful. So maybe you should explain your situation to him. Yeah. How can he? How can you know to help when he doesn't even know what you need? I don't even know what. You, what, Gretchen, What are you doing? I mean, what your people? What people? What? Uh, it's complicated. Um, oh God! Have you ever seen Men in Black? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but no, we have no. this wonderful meal to hear the tale over. I live in the grasslands, far from town, and something unnatural is corrupting them. And when I heard that Duradas had experience with that sort of thing, I offered to help him with the kidnapping in exchange for his help figuring out what's going on in my homeland. But that is correct. Where where is your homeland? Groceries. Okay, I don't know well, your character sheet. Where's your, where's your homeland? Where are you from? Uh, grasslands somewhere off the coast, away from people. Yeah, yeah I'd say she's well, basically takes like us the, southern, the southern area of the, the Sword Coast. Well, but, in the search for information, you know, we can ask around on the route, although I kind of agree. I this isn't necessarily a direct benefit to myself either, but I don't got much else going on. <laughs> if other than studying the the uh, the object, if um, I can offer, as I have been trying to or learning how to make my navigate uh, inter, I don't know, interact with people uh, in the, these these uh, situations away from the the old school. Um, I, I think this is an opportunity to make connections with uh, to, to help us in the future. That it's not just about money, but yeah, this I, this particular thing that he's asked you to do might not immediately look like it's going to provide much of anything, but in the long run, it, it actually could. That's basically what he's what what Tiana was the asking start for. Our mission. Yeah, <laughs> as, as I uh, contract. As I yeah, but as I understand it, the uh, opportunity going from random tavern to random tavern uh, would not over the long term. You know, we, we would probably have you would, would have to be creating more uh, establishing relationships over and over again, and it takes a while to build trust. And I, if you were looking to, it, it's I've, I've seen benefits right, of planning so rooms. Uh, and, I, I'm in, but I'm going to negotiate my own. Part, yeah, know, I was gonna say if there's something you want, I mean, ask him for it. I mean, it's not it's not a problem. So, but I was gonna say if, for, if Greksha's like concerned about it not helping her personal cause, if Duradas is basically looking for the things that you're interested in, and you might end up if he finds some things, I mean, it, along the way that might be linked to what you're going after. I mean, yeah. El Terrell is in the the grasslands. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's an area that you've never been to before, and he's always on the search for these these type of relics. And for all you know, one of them might be a clue to what you're looking for. Okay, but the thought of staying in an inn in a city for months is terrifying. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll just I'll... sleep in the barn. <laughs> We get, you know where a burnt out house is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still full of people though. Yeah. You can always say, like, can I get that room off to the side? That's away from everybody. But uh yeah, so I mean, like I said, like this might not at the moment look like it's going to matter much in the grand scheme of things, but actually it it, it will. Okay. <clears throat> So, how do you guys want to proceed? So, Valfire wants to negotiate. Did yeah, you want to? Did so, you? I mean, uh, Gretchen, if you want, you can ask uh, an for anything you want. If look, if you do. five are, if you five are in, 
view fiber in the in information as well yeah hold on I will, am I talk, who am i talking to right now is is this the hand of god or is this the bar owner <laughs> the group <laughs> no bar owner, he's, uh, he's off Anto walked he's away yeah anato's gone okay so, so this is this is like between so you five are down for this then i'll tell him that we're in and i will negotiate my own stuff with him sounds good to me deal and everybody gets their 50 in two months stay at the ramada inn <laughs> maybe we can make the right. deal for the rooms uh non-consecutive so we can <laughs> use it as needed that's that's i'm going with that Okay. So you want you want Sorry. an answer to come on back? Yeah. I'm gonna walk okay, over so... to him. Uh oh. <laughs> so, ooh. I'm gonna walk over to him. Okay. He's like, what's up? Hey there, Nacho. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, was that your name or did I get it wrong? Ananto. Ananto, sorry. Sorry, not Nacho. It's a horrible <laughs> movie. Um so my friend help out for what you offered which was two months room and board food drink whatnot and 50 gold a piece uh non-consecutively so it might not be two months in a row we're not going to hold up your business but when we come you'll have a room for us whether it's all six of us or one of us absolutely yeah okay yeah all right on top of that and i slowly open up my coat and pull out the two hand axes I have. He's like, oh, when uh, I get back, <laughs> when I get back, no, no, I'm not holding okay. them. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> these, when I get back, I need a set of them that is of finer quality on your tab. And we'll call it a day. I can do that. He's like, I know some people that know some people. That's what I like to hear, Nacho. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you see him uh, kind of like wince every time you say that he kind of goes like oh. but yeah he's I like i could absolutely take care of that no problem whatsoever he's like i know the blacksmith at the end of town and he's done some i mean some of the work in that you see in my establishment is done by him and this is like some of the nicest stuff you're going to see i'll take, take them off your hand now and give you these to put up on the wall if you like i don't have i don't have that kind of stuff it's like shields and decorations and okay. stuff yeah but yeah, because um, I don't, I don't want to have people killing things on the walls of my place because bar fights do happen. <laughs> all right. Well, can I get uh, six steins of uh, your finest mead sent over to the table so we can all celebrate one for yourself as well? Not a problem. He's like, I'll have it sent to your table immediately. Thank you, sir. All right. So yeah, he starts talking to the people in the restaurant. Nuts to the bartender, and he's like, six meads, table three. And sure enough, six right, meads guys. are brought by a by a, a bar lady, very attractive bar lady. She looks at Keanu. She's kind of like, hey, puts all the glasses uh, sure down. He, he, gave me these, he gave me these punch cards, and there's 60 tabs on them. So once we get through the 60, we got to pay our own way after that. Doesn't have to be consecutive. <laughs> I don't and apparently know. there's a free meat locker clinic in the basement if you need to get anything taken care of or looked at. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty sure that's extra though. So you hear not to say like I've got the rooms all ready for you upstairs if you guys if you would like to go upstairs and check them out. I will the way. <laughs> sort of pull him aside. Explain, I don't do well with rooms. I'm find a tree to sleep in somewhere. I'm sure. I'm sure we could he's ask like, him for a room with a balcony. He's like, we do have the beer garden that nobody really uses. Sure. So he's like, if, you're, it's, if that's what you're, if that's what you're, you want to do, then that is absolutely what I will provide. Sounds like we'll like be, the beer garden we'll be already, is all yours. You'll be able to meet us for brunch. Okay, so uh, he says, all right, so what you are going to be transporting is the finest meats, cheeses, and vegetables, but the crown jewel of this endeavor is a phoenix egg. 
It is the rarest of the rare. I'll have an invoice for you to go off of so you know who to seek out and to make sure everything that has been ordered is actually in the shipment once you get there. So, but you guys can have the run of the place. Do as you will. This place, like my place is your place kind of thing right now. He's like, feel free to settle in as you need to. He's like, there you go. It's like the dinner rush is going to begin pretty soon, so I need to uh, I need to get back in the kitchen. So yeah, thank you for from his daughter. <laughs> that, that's what my um, check checked. What? <laughs> of course it was. That's why I thought it. Oh no! So he goes. If he goes, the people who do want rooms, he goes rooms one, two, and three on the uh, the second floor are all yours. One's mine. <laughs> Thank you, Nato. <laughs> yep. Oh, not. <laughs> oh, Keanu. You, you think you get a room to yourself? It's my that, usual yeah. room. I got a room. I get the suite here every time. <laughs> okay, so oh, yes, does I anyone does anyone want to check anymore. out the room and or the uh, the beer garden? <laughs> I'm ready to call tonight. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna persuade one of the groupies. That I'm heading up to the room. All right. Uh, yeah. Good, oppor good opportunity for like a long rest. Then. Yeah, it'd be definitely a good opportunity for that. Did you Did you do it? Can I what do what? Do your your uh, persuasion for your oh, your lady? Well, yeah, I rolled. I rolled an eighteen. 18? Okay, yeah. So the woman that brought the, the meat over to the table is like like just sitting there like going like, what's up? Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> I know we're here to role play and all that, but I am not flirting. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. <laughs> I don't want to flirt with you I'd say I'd say with an 18, and yeah, she's like, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Okay, so you guys, who wants to head upstairs? Uh, you head up to the far to the uh, the far side of the restaurant near the entrance, and there's a staircase that spirals upwards to the second floor. <laughs> you ascend the steps and come out on the other side, facing a wooden wall. Every fifteen foot is a, every fifteen feet is a door. Did we you break noise? Perform you rolled a performance. Oh check. my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. He must have, have had a purple pill with him because uh, <laughs> he must have had a purple pill because he rolled a twenty-one. Christ, you knocked her up. <laughs> <laughs> knocked her through. The anyway, roof. every every fifteen feet is a door. Each of the number on it on the far left, first three doors are you guessed it one, two, and three, and they are jar. I thought they're rooms. Um, so they are doubles. <laughs> You get an inspiration. I'm going to give you inspiration for that. Part. Are you? Nice. Oh. Um, who's who's going to be bunking with you because they are doubles? Uh, I walk into a room by myself and figure it out. <laughs> I, I'm already in room one and I close the door. With I'll take three. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Nazriel will bunk. <laughs> we can talk about how how to clean armor. <laughs> if you guys can talk religion, see how that goes. Okay, so Keanu basically takes the girl into the room one and just slams the door, and he's just like, "Yep." <laughs> so Nazriel, Marcus, and two, Gretchen, the beer garden, and me and Belfire and three. It sounds like it. Meat shield. <laughs> Room number Whatever, three. As long as you don't mind being trying to ambush at night. <laughs> as long as you don't mind being the uh, little spoon, I'm fine. Ooh. So I don't think I got a choice. Uh, they're sweets, so they're separate. Don't worry, I got some cocoa butter for this. It goes away in no time. Real performance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris died. Oh. 
Oh, that's this just this just took a be a running a gag. His role performance. <laughs> Okay, so you enter the rooms to see that it isn't just some rundown pit filled with buzzing insects or water stains on the ceiling. These are some nice ass suites. Uh, two beds on opposite sides of the room, four posters with fluffy pillows, and a thick, comfortable looking mattress. There's a desk in the far corner next to a window that is curtained, and the deep red fabric is filtering the light from the sunset and tints the room in a cozy crimson hue. Mmm. Uh, there's also two navy blue sitting chairs next to each bed, packed to the bursting point and stuff with stuff. Yeah, packed at the bursting point with stuffing, and studded with what looks like real brass. It's clean. It looks more like a studio apartment than what you'd normally consider a room at your average inn to be like. Uh, on the other hand, Greksha heads out to the the beer garden, and it's through the side door past the bar, because that's normally where people will be sitting outside. But it's kind of the off season, so no one's really using it. There's a bunch of tables. It's sort of got a was like a trellis as a roof to protect from like some of the sunlight that would normally pass through it. There are a few trees that have been planted uh, into the like they've dug out sections. It's bricked mostly on the ground, but there are sections that are brickless that where they have planted trees. And there's like two or three decent sized trees in the corner. I can um, just see like, climbing like up on a tree and it's like bent over like this. <laughs> set up a hammock. <laughs> So yeah, there's like two or three decent sized trees, and but there's a lot of chairs and tables and a couple of benches also for people to, to gather and talk and drink. And it is completely empty at this point in time. It's not super cold out tonight, so it's actually a pretty decent evening. So basically, this is your room. You can do whatever you want with it. There is an opening that goes into the bar, but like in the wall. There's like a wooden door that would swing upwards, but it's closed right now because nobody's out there. But if you would need anything, all you need to do is knock on the door and the guy would open it up, the bartender would open it up and ask if you need anything. Okay. All right. So everyone take a long rest, except for Keanu, because he spent he was up all night using up all of his dexterity. <laughs> I'm kidding. Everybody gets a long rest. Oh. <laughs> Pay for your sins. Yeah. <laughs> Heathen. <laughs> so let me know when you guys are ready. I'm ready. Ready. Okay, so in the morning, the smells of breaking, baking, breaking, breaking bad, baking bread. I'm not dyslexic. <laughs> uh, fill up the room. Ananto actually comes out to the uh, the beer garden. Actually, brings you a plate of food, and he's just like, "Good morning, breakfast." And he places Thank on you. one of the tables. He's like, "He's like, you need anything else? Just let me know." And there's also a big mug of. Would you drink the the uh, the mead for the brekkie? The brekkie. Sure, why not? Yeah, so he brings you a big glass of mead. He's like, "You want some orange juice? I can do that too." <laughs> I'm making a good screwdriver. <laughs> uh and someone knocks on each of the doors in the morning and it's Ananto and he's just like, there's food downstairs if you want it. He's like, it's on the bar. <laughs> and you, he's Nanto. like, and by the way, have you seen Stacy? Has anyone seen Stacy? Check Keanu's room. <laughs> I'll just rat him out right then and there. <laughs> yeah, the moment Ananto turns his back to head down the stairs, like Stacy sneaks out of the room. <laughs> He's not called the town for no reason. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, so I did mean to ask you, uh, what should I do about this uh, epi fencing sort I've got here? Or just keep it, throw it can, in the you back, can add back it to your, you can, and, Yeah, you can add it to your like inventory under, I think, the notes. All right. I just threw it in my equipment. So, But okay. I just created a custom one that says epi fencing sword. Okay. All right, so everybody going to come down and, and, and get the breakfast? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah. so yeah, like you said, there's plates of food, like sausages and eggs and toast and all this kind of breakfast-type food, uh, some steaks, and it all looks freaking amazing. Uh, Nanto's also saying, like, he's like, I already put the order in for your axes. He's like, so that's uh, that's on the way. So by the time you guys get back, it'll be ready. Um 
he's like, also, I told a couple of my friends at a couple of the shops in town that if you uh, want to stop by and pick up some provisions on the way, that it's on me. Appreciate it. I want to find him and explain my situation. Oh, the uh, the Eldritch stuff? Yeah. In the homeland? Okay. Mm -hmm. So he can say that, well, I did hear of, like, on the path there, that there was some sort of disturbance. It They talked about, like, blue lightning, but I didn't get the whole story because I overheard it while I was serving one night. But okay. there m might be something that interests you on the path to east. Okay. And he goes, and I also... There's also someone you might want to look up. He's like, I only ran into him once before when I was out foraging for mushrooms. He, there was like a, a half giant guy out there that looked like he was smoking a certain something, something. <laughs> um, and he just seemed like, like I talked, he goes, I talked to him for about a good two hours. And he's like, he was a real, like, not what you would assume a, a half giant to be. But he was just the nicest guy. He offered me some of these funky-looking cigarettes he was smoking, but I was just like, no, nah, I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. um, but look him up. His name is, uh, what was it, Zedediah. He might have he might mm -hmm. have some information that you might be interested in. Thank you. Sure. Like, I hope that helps. I hope so, too. So, anyone want any information on the El Toro? Yeah, I've never about it. Never been. Okay, so this is just information for everybody. So, El Toro is 200 miles east from Baldur's Gate. Uh, the city is situated atop a cliff dominating the river Chanthar. This was both a good defensive position and a good crossing point, as the river below was a narrow, shallow, and easily traversed. It was easily traversed by polling barges, and the city was founded here for this advantage alone. Uh, the river linked it with Bear Dusk. God damn these names, man. Irabor and Scordubel. And it's Baldur's Gate on the Sword Coast. Uh, El Torel is the capital of El Guard, and uh, El Torel is the farming center of the Fields of the Dead and thrives on the trade that passes through its domain. Although... Somebody roll me a history check. Any any of you, all of you, does not matter. Happily. Anyone who rolls over a 10. I saw a 15. 24. Okay. So anyone who rolled over 10 knows of uh, El Terrell that hundreds of years ago, El Terrell was ripped from the ground by the Companion which was a magical second sun that hovered over the land. Uh, the, arch the arch devil Zariel used the companion, which was actually a magic... Well, uh, sorry. It used the companion, which in truth was an infernal device powered by an imprisoned planetar to pull the city into Avernus, the, the first of the nine hells. Eventually, without any explanation, it was returned to our plane, and after extensive rebuilding, it is now again the trade hub of legend. Second son, S U N or S O N? S U N. Okay. So basically, like the El Torol was always back in the day, hundreds of years ago, it was always covered in light. Okay, there was always there was this magical second son that nobody can explain why it was there. Although it turned out it was a ruse, it was a setup. Uh, and it was just the the El Torol was never in darkness. It was always being bathed in this light from this uh, artificial sun, and that's why people went there. Because it was it was like this magical town, like no one could like explain Florida. what this thing was, and yeah, I guess except with all the hurricanes. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, eventually it turned out to be a setup, and uh, they paid for that. And but it is back now. No one can explain why it came back, how it came back. Uh, only that the sun did not return with it, uh, the companion did not return with it, and the town has been rebuilt. And is now back in full working order again. Hey. Okay, so you guys have all had your your breakfast, and 
I leave it to you to decide how you would like to proceed for the rest of the day. Well, I'm loading up on provisions. That, right? I'm sorry, what? Provisions. Provisions, okay. So do you want to... Hello. Do you want to have uh, Ananto provide you with those provisions, or do you want to go into town to try to find something? Well, I assume Ananto can give us food, but we'll need... Yeah, the food, yeah, the food will be coming from Ananto, but I was like saying if you guys want to do anything else other than that. So Ananto will come out with two... Like, each of you has essentially like a backpack that he has brought out of the kitchen, and it is filled with those sandwiches that he gave you guys before. Uh, eight pounds of beef jerky. <laughs> and each of them has two casks of water hanging off the sides. Okay. So essentially, you have enough food for not the complete 20 days because you don't have, you're not going to be able to carry that much. Uh, you have basically enough to get to uh, El Terrell. But he's also put many... an, order, an order in for you to get filled up back, filled up when you get there so you can have food to, kind of, to come back with. Okay. So we don't have so what, 10 days of rations? Yeah, you have 10 days of rations, and then you'll pick up 10 more when you get there. <clears throat> through, through the contact that he has that you're getting the food from for the wedding. All right. Uh, can I go someplace that would sell little bottles with corks in them? Because I'm thinking just to be safe, I might occasionally start, you know, a little bloodletting here and there right before bed at night. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. How? I, so actually, here's a, I actually did prepare for this. A timeout question. How yep. closely are we playing for with like spell components? I would say for some more complicated stuff, like some of the more powerful stuff, we'd go with component. But for the okay. basics and stuff, I wouldn't really worry about it so much. Like like for the Eldritch Blasts and yep. that kind of thing. But if we're gonna like when we get up to the higher levels, yeah, like certain spells mid- that are like you know damage, <clears throat> that, you know that <throat> cause massive damage. I would say for those, you might need some components for it. Resurrection like, or something. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna like for, the, for like yeah, for the resurrection, time. you need a diamond, that kind of thing. Yeah, for those for those types of spells that are like the ep- what I would consider like an epic type of spell. Yeah, those you need a component for. Fair enough. It's kind so of I'm, nice. I'm loading up on arrows. Is all I need. Okay. Oh, do we did we level up after our? No, first? not yet. No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> it was only one guy. Yeah, basically one guy took out all the like the guy. The yeah, but I did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we were there leeching. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We had a couple people along the way, like four of them, five of them, something like that. And then we're not we're not going by the experience. We're we're going by uh, what oh, miles, they word it? Adventure uh, milestone milestones. Milestones. Yes. So one second here while I put um, something up real quick. Hopefully this will let me do this. Okay, so there is an, the apothecary that you guys, the second party, so this was Valfire, Duradas, and Greksha. This is before you went mm-hmm. to go look for Gila. Yep. I would say the apothecary that you went to would have what Valfire is looking for. And the weapon shop that... Uh, Keanu was looking for that is the uh, the weapon shop is known known as the pointy end. <laughs> nice, That's a good name. And the apothecary is called the altered state. All right. Well, I want to stop by those I, two places. I did not make those names up. Those are generated. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. I yeah. want. I'm, I'm picking up an additional quiver of arrows and a longbow. One second. So, <clears throat> Keanu heads into the 
weapons. And store. if there's anything magical that I can afford oh. with sixty gold pieces. <laughs> well, don't forget he he uh, Nanto's covered for you in this case. Okay. So maybe okay, like so a longbow you... of swiftness plus one. I would <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet, not yet, <laughs> not yet. So if you want to, if you want to add a longbow, like a new longbow to your, yeah. to your non-magical. inventory, yeah, not magical, uh, and you can add like a quiver or two of arrows. Uh, <clears throat> Valfire, what were you looking for? Are you looking for the the vials? Uh, okay, the so. Vials. I was going to say the vials and then maybe a uh, healing potion or two. Healing potion? Okay. So you head into the altered state, and the woman behind the counter, I wish I could show you the picture of her. Her name is Rustina Fire Rose. And. My uh, baby. Damn it, Beavis. <laughs> Uh, she is a she's a human. She's kind of pale because it looks like she spends most of her time indoors. She's got bright blue hair and these like little pigtails up on top. But she's also wearing a monocle. Um, right. She's wearing a very Steam drab pump. dress, oh, but she is she is behind the counter, and she's like, "Oh hey, I remember you." <clears throat> so, I'm un- I'm unforgettable. Yeah. Uh, so you're looking for some file she how many were you looking for specifically like five maybe five okay so she hands over five empty vials normally they would be used for healing potions but she's like I'm in between healing potions right now all right so Ixne on the healing potions eh well no she has greater healing potions what are those going for baby those are going for about a hundred each. A hundred gold each. Gold? Yeah. We did buy some potions last time. Yeah, too. yeah those, are, have, those are about to expire. One healing potion. I had two. Yeah, those are about to expire. That's why I got them so cheap. Potions and <laughs> healing. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I don't think you used... Did you, you didn't use Money any, did well you? Spent. No. No. Money well spent. Uh... There's also a clothing armor. There's uh... well, the healing potion we had the last time was a hundred. Says the cost was a hundred. That's the cost in the book. I remember. I, I think I charged you guys like what five yeah, or ten or something. It was a lot yeah. less. Yeah, I, I was, was like, yeah, these are, these are about yeah. to expire. So that's why I sold them to you dirt cheap because they were about to go bad. <laughs> So like, are they like, are they going bad or are just saying? No, not like, yet. There's, there's, they're just, okay. they've been sitting on the shelf for a while. So, so if how many hit points would that bring back? Two d four uh, plus two. So like ten. Tops. Up to ten, yeah. 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 And what does a greater healing potion do? That's a lot more. Yeah, that's I think that's more. like. You have three, four, you, four of us are healers or have healing kip. Wait, do druids have healing? Yeah. Yeah. All right, never mind. A greater healing potion is 4d4 plus 4. Yeah, I can do more. Yeah, with my... um, uh, that's fine. I'll throw some copper your way or something. Whatever. Yeah, my cure wounds is 1d8 plus 5. Plus one. Yeah, all right. Uh, no need for that then. Can I go to the pointy, the pointy objects? The pointy end, sure. Pointy. Oh, excuse me. I want to see what I can get for this epi. Does it pay? Yeah. Let me see. Here, is it right magical? Now. No, it's it is not. It's not a magical it's just... epi pen. It's only useful if you get stung by a bee. Could be useful. <laughs> it's worth about. Okay, so this one was. It belonged to Daniel, so it was like a family heirloom kind of thing, which is 
because it was not like your typical assassin <clears throat> weapon of choice kind of kind of situation. So, because it is not common, uh, the guy running the pointy end, which is this really short gnome, that's kind of kind of scraggly looking, but he's looking at it. And he's like, "Oh, look at, oh, hey, oh, okay, hmm, all right, I get a fifty gold." All so right. what are the let's hold on to that let's hold on to that fifty gold for a minute. I could I could use I have, that sword. I I you got fifty gold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how, how about you call it payment for future healing? Oh <laughs> wow. Hey, oh noise stealing my shtick. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about we call it payment for future non karaoke performances? Uh oh. So. Oh, he just got so, I'm gonna, gonna vicious mockery him right now. <laughs> 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 Through message. <laughs> <laughs> Through message. Oh, that would be even better. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him vicious chlamydia through fire. <laughs> Take care of his real piece. <laughs> um, what kind of hand axes do you have? Hand axes. Let's see here. I mean, just that sword is not like it's not magical. It's not like master. It's not magical. It's mostly it's mostly the fact that it is like it's jeweled. It's like bejeweled, and it's okay, like I don't it's need... like it's like expensive metals. Like it's it's from some rich family. Yeah. So it's it's overly yeah. embellished. I don't know if it were bedazzled. Well, yeah, there's like jewels. Uh, they're like jewel encrusted around the uh, the hilt and all that. Pick up, pick out my teeth. Uh, yeah. When it comes to hand axes, seriously, there it gotta is. lay off the bedazzling. They're jeans, not a disco ball. Yet. I will shoot your cat. <laughs> uh, he has a two-handed axe. But mostly this yeah. guy deals... Yeah, mostly this guy deals in, like, swords, daggers, that sort of thing. But he does have a two-handed greater axe. That's about it. What, what kind of damage am I looking at with that? Oh, two-handed X. <laughs> Great X is 1d12. Oh, yeah, Great X is... Yeah, 1d12 damage, slashing, heavy two-handed... What other kind of simple weapons or martial weapons do we have here that I can mess around with? And look uh, at? He's got daggers. Why are you not giving me what I want? I got a better idea. Oh, there you go. Even the link to the equipment page of the player's handbook. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like the internet's not being my friend. Let's, let's, let's pull up the. There's a fit. For two gold pieces, that's you can buy a. And this is something I meant to mention to you when I saw it earlier, and we'll talk more about it after at the end of this. Um, the Order of the Profane Soul, I get to pick wizard spells. Just as a heads up there, Chris. Okay, hang on. Okay, yeah, he has 
multiple daggers, which um, they do 1d4 damage piercing. He has a glaive, which does 1d10 slashing. That's a heavy, heavy with two hand. It's a two handed weapon. All right, I got it up too. Just rattle off what he's got. Okay, he's got four long swords, which are one d8 slashing, and a what is moon when it touch says versatile one d. Hmm? You said in a moon touch scimitar. Yeah, there's a moon touched scimitar. Uh, How much? In this is 200 gold. Uh, it says, In darkness, the unsheathed blade of the sword sheds moonlight, creating bright light in the 15-foot radius and dim light for an additional 15 feet. It causes 1d6 damage slashing. It's a light finesse weapon. It's still a finesse weapon. That's what I was going to ask. You said 1d6? 1d6. Yeah, okay, I don't need that. And what does it do? It's a torch, basically? Mm. Yeah, essentially. It's like... It's right. like a, that sword from Lord of the Rings, the Sting. We all do. We all have dark vision, though. No, most of you do. No, <laughs> I do. I am a human. Ah, that's the only oh, one. Yeah. That's right. We were having uh, to drag you through that tunnel. Yep. <laughs> he has a he has a couple of sickles, which are one d four slashing. Those are light. He has a number of short swords, which are one d six. Piercing. And one Warhammer. Which is 1d8 bludgeoning. Mm. And a war pick. So that war pick not much that's going to improve two-handed from what I've got except for or single-handed. Like I've got one in each hand. Except yeah. for moving on to two-handed stuff, basically. Yeah. Yep. So the thing that's going to do the most damage was that uh, Great Axe. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but it's only one attack versus... One with bonus. Well, amount. it's 1d12 yeah. or... Yeah, 1d12 slashing. Uh... It says Versus, proficiency with yeah. a great axe allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the attack roll for any attack you make with it. All right, well, you have martial weapons. Well, well, no. I have simple and martial weapons, yeah. Well, martial is great axe. Great axe mm -hmm. is martial. Yep. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How much strength do you need to have to wield a heavy weapon in each hand? Uh, I think it allows I, for that. that requires a talent. I think you you have to be like large sized, something like that. If I remember it right. Be like, like we're, a fucking we're medium or some shit. Yeah, like all of us are medium sized humanoids. Okay. I mean, if it doesn't, if, at this point in time, I was hoping to get a bit of an upgrade here, but it doesn't look like there's anything here except for a shiny scimitar. So you guys All right, I'll take my 50 though? gold. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take my 50 gold and walk away. Okay. So he takes the pay off your hands, hands over the 50 gold. Thanks for doing business. It's like, uh, this is shiny. Yeah. This is so shiny. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I yeah, a heavy crossbow is not going to do me any good. All right, <laughs> I want to buy a net. Okay. Can't think of anything. Anyone else want to do anything? Uh, I dropped by the rat's nest. Okay. <sighs> With all the kids? Yep, what is the rat's nest? Oh. 
Good name. Jinx, Jinx's, Good name. Uh, Jinx's Good kids. Name. Yep, exactly. <laughs> okay. Zoinks. You know, and you see, you I, see that there are like plates of like like street food all over the place from all <laughs> money that you guys gave them last time. Like they've they've been eating pretty well. Empanadas <laughs> sound really good right now. Yeah. Um, I try to get an a, an audience with Jinx, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, she she's there. She's sitting there. There's like two of the two of the guys are just sitting there, just like sitting there having a little talk or whatever. And she's like, "No, I need you to take this street today. This this like take Second Street. And like that's that's where the money is. All right." <laughs> Don't put it out on Front Street, though. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. It's like, what's up? Oh, thank you for giving my my friends all this money. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> like, I like. I, I want to thank you, and I also hate you because you've made them so slow. <laughs> <laughs> like, a bunch of them have just been napping all day. <laughs> that's that's fine. I will need something from you in the future. What's that? Your ears. You, oh. I need you to listen out for anything that might be happening. <laughs> ah, that might be happening. One day, <laughs> one day I might come to you and ask a favor. <laughs> uh, we're going to be transporting a few things. Most likely the stuff is going to be, uh, people are going to try to steal it. Mm-hmm. And we don't want to be hurt. So okay. if you hear of any ambushes or anything like that, try to get to us before we enter the city. We'll be back in 20 days. Or we'll be back on X date. What day are you leaving? <clears throat> I don't know. Like, aren't, aren't we leaving? When uh, it, would, it would be like like tomorrow, probably. Yeah. yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving tomorrow. We'll be back in twenty days. Okay. Probably. She's like, well, I'll do. She's like, well, give me a little something, something. You know, like you know, she holds out the, the little cup again. It's like, clink, 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 clink. It's like, and uh, she's like, gonna, I gonna, will, I will do what I can. I'm, Good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop eight copper into her little pot there and see the response I get. She kind of goes like. The green lady gave me a gold. <laughs> <laughs> so I give her ten silver on top of it. It's like thanks. Ten silver is a gold, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Ten, ten silver is, yeah. So she's like, okay, okay, all right, all right, let's see what's up. Okay, all right. She's like, yeah, um, I'll do some, I'll, I'll do some look, looking around. I'll have some of my my sewer rats, like you know, listen in. Talk to some of our competitors and whatnot. See, so hopefully, it won't start a gang war. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can find out and let you know before you leave tomorrow. Okay, thank you. And she's like, "No more cookies, no more." Billy's diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought the EpiPen for him. <laughs> Oh, like he's been, he's been sleeping since yesterday. <laughs> Damn it. That's what the orphans need. Just a shot of yeah. adrenaline right to the heart. <laughs> Insulin epidemic. Low, low blood sugar. Low blood sugar. It's all good all right. for you. All right. Anything else anyone wants to uh, to do today? Glad I got rid of that pocket change. Yeah. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> uh, so as if you as you're leaving the as you're leaving the rat's nest, uh, you do see like Jinx and a couple of her people just scurry out into the into the city. I'm like checking my wallet, my wristwatch. Like. You're, you're you're okay. You're okay for them, so they're not gonna try to. Yeah, rob we're, your we're not targets. We're customers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're potential sources of revenue. <laughs> so, all right. So the rest of the day goes by, rest up until you're going to leave tomorrow. And sure enough, as you walk out of the, uh, the restaurant in the morning, Jinx is standing outside waiting for you. So she says, when you get about 40 miles away from El Torel, 
take the alternate path. She's like, there's a bunch of, I found out there's like a bunch of like cutthroats that used to be pirates off the coast and they've kind of like set up shop there and they're just like robbing everybody on the path. Hmm. Appreciate you, Thank Jinx. You. <laughs> Thank you, Jinx. Not you not fun. Can't wait to do business again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> when Jinx leaves. Bellfire, I'm yeah. guessing you want to She's go. He's like, now I got to go and drop a deuce from all the food I've been eating. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did Marcus say? Sorry, Bellfire, uh, what? It's like, after she leaves, Bellfire, I'm guessing you want to go find the pirates. <laughs> pirates have treasure. <laughs> I'm kind of there for the alternate route because I really like to see what they have in their bags. Ooh. And I know a guy who likes to have a drink occasionally, so I figure you know he could take some rum or something like that off of him. <laughs> All right, so um, I was going to ask Marcus if he wanted to uh, avoid the alternate route to try try our chance at solving the uh, that yes, problem. Yes, we can actually see this as an opportunity to help others from being assaulted by these people. Why has it got to be these people? <laughs> so, 40 miles from I got to make it about out. those people. Maybe they'll have relics. Oh. <laughs> I, I There's always a now. chance. They might have information too, so you never know. I can see it now. We get there. We can't kill them all. <laughs> I mean, if they're, they're the, uh, evil, then up. you've got my attention. Yeah, we're going to get there and we're going to pull the uh, someone call a cleric, but not for me. <laughs> If you're gonna, oh, if no. you're gonna, if you're gonna try to twelve. Okay, look. If you're gonna try to twelve step a bunch of pirates, then I'm out of this. All right, that's not they're, happening. They're inland pirates, though, so they're not as bad. Yeah, they're, they're, oh, they're, the, oh. They, don't, they don't have their sea legs. Pirates. Fewer, less, fewer less barrels. I understand. Fewer barrels. <laughs> okay. Any, anything last minute you guys want before uh, you head out? Um, just thinking for those of you that can't see in the dark, do you have torches? No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember I if I can see in the dark or not. I don't remember if I can see in the dark or not. It would be... you're, you're not human. <laughs> I bet you can see in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I, I, have, uh, I, have, I, have, I am I have, part I've... dragon, so I feel like that's a possibility, but I don't know that it's there. I have a torch yeah, if anybody. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't have it, uh, Valfire. Yeah. Oh, Marcus, if you need a torch. I mean, that doesn't mean that one. I can't blow fire out of my mouth and see what's around <laughs> it. Yeah. Light said torch is aflame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of burnt shit in front of me. I can't see it. That was that was Nazrael. <laughs> do we and do we have anyone that can pick a lock? I don't. Uh, no. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to light up his helmet, and the glow off of it will help me see through the walls. <laughs> oh, oh. Just reflecting all over the place, yeah? <laughs> no, no way that could go wrong. What's that orange glow? Nazriel's helmet. <laughs> and that's where all the arrows go. <laughs> or Keanu's out yeah. for a long night. <laughs> okay. The bottom helmet. Yeah, that was the warrior I was referring to. It burns. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Didn't keep the EpiPen. See, this would have fixed everything for so many people. Okay. Oh. Anything else? No? Okay. Uh, so you make your way toward the eastern exit of Baldur's Gate through the morning crowd of shoppers buzzing around the marketplace. Past some sorry, nice neighborhoods. I'm going to interrupt. Any chance that I've had where I could get a night's sleep and fully recover from it, I'm doing some bloodletting into some of these brand new bottles of mine. Oh, I was gonna say like last night you could have, yeah, yeah you did that before you left. Cool. So you got like what? You want to do all five vials? Yeah, it's yeah, sure. What do I gotta roll like one d five? No. I say all if right. it's not if it's not in combat, that's when you'd have to roll. All right, okay. fair enough. Okay, so uh, yeah, you. You walk past some nice neighborhoods made up of massive houses that could hold multiple families comfortably, but you know deep down inside that's not the case. Is it cutting and... out for you? you guys too? No. No. All right. I hate my internet. Uh, Sorry. 
half the time no, you, you speak, finally... Chris, I, like I miss like half of it. Sorry. Okay, so you you pass some neighborhoods made up of massive houses that could hold multiple fam families comfortably, but you know deep down inside that's not the case. And finally, you circumvent the slums on the outskirts where the poor beg for money, food, and sometimes both. You pass through the main gate, nodding to the armored guards of the Lord's Alliance as you saunter past them. Uh, Nazriel, give me uh, a stealth roll. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We lost him. Oh, no. Oh, Nero's. Oh, I have a disadvantage on stealth. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> I guess I have to roll twice, take the worst. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so seven and eight. So I have a seven. A seven? Yep. Okay, hang on one second. <clears throat> yeah, he's back. Hey, Ben, what did I miss? Uh, me not doing well at a stealth check that I was asked to roll. <laughs> That's all. I just turned on the hotspot of my phone, and now nothing is cutting out, so... Okay, uh, yeah. I... He's got to shuffle everyone around because right now you're a female half orc, Nazriel. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was awesome. Man. I saw that before I, before he switched you guys the last time, I was like, well, hell yeah, for those two playing male and female roles opposite. All right, all right. <laughs> and then he swapped you, and I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I thought we were progressive, but we're not. No. Uh, so, Nazriel, as you walk past, one of them, one of the guards is like, hey. Hi. It's like, I don't want to see you coming back in this town ever again. I don't know how you got past the guards to start, but he goes, you better not come back. Do, okay. Out of character. Do I know why they don't want me back in town? Your, your armor you're wearing is the, uh, the alternate church. Oh gosh. Maybe. Okay. Maybe I should have bought different armor. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good armor. What's that about? Bro, is there <sighs> something you need to tell us about? Uh, that's I really should have bought different armor. <laughs> <laughs> How many guards are there? Uh, oh, there's two of them. <laughs> um maybe well, well, I'll Maybe we'll talk on it's the like, way. It's like one on, each, one on each side of the gate. Okay. Just maybe <laughs> just like uselessly cover my face. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just trying to away. cover your shame. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, uh, Mr. the big shiny guy walking down the street. He covers his face and like, where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the guards. And a blessed day to you as like, well. And I just keep like walking. Basically, I basically the, morning, the morning sun has turned him into a gigantic light bulb. <laughs> we can see my face for I am shining. Just reflecting everywhere. It's just like, oh my God, like, stop. <laughs> we probably should have described ourselves to each other again. Sure, I can show the pictures oh, as yeah. you do. So, oh, yeah, Jesse and Pete. <laughs> so, let's start with uh, Keanu. <laughs> if it'll ever show up. Yeah, Here it I got it. There we go. Yep, that's it. So many bottles. Uh, it it's, looks a lot like my desk, but I drink cans because they're recyclable. <laughs> As opposed to glass, which is totally not. So, uh, in Florida... No one recycles glass. There's no market for it. So it just gets thrown in the landfill. What? Weird. Hmm. That's disappointing. Yeah. It's very the disappointing. Glass is sand, right? <laughs> Isn't the glass yeah, like the easiest weird. thing to recycle? Yeah. yeah it's, I was like, it's sand, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they couldn't just shred it and put it on the beach? <laughs> All right, whatever. Beach glass is beautiful. It takes a long time. In Ohio, that's all I got to say. Next picture. Duradas. Okay, and then we yes. got Duradas. Ooh, I did not cool. know that you had horns. Uh, okay. So it's not actually horns. Um, oh. It just didn't have a good. It's um. Here, let me grab that real quick. It is. I don't remember where I put that. You said it's like a crown. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's an immovable living crown known as an elder cross or a witch's uh, turn. Okay. It's a living garland like part that extends from my temples, it wraps around the head. Kind of looks like yeah, basically like a like a like a bramble crown but growing out of my head. Hmm. So you think you're Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's Sheebus. laughs> You're the blue Jesus. Marcus. Okay, and then we got Marcus. He's very bright. Shiny. Yes. And loud. Sparkling. And loud. <laughs> ping, 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 ping. Does he have any religious iconography on him? Have you ever been inside a machinist factory? Yes. <laughs> yeah, do you, Marcus, have uh, religious yeah. iconography on yourself? Okay. Yeah. I do have some religious stuff. I have the holy symbol. The holy symbol is also painted on the, the, the shield. Uh, let's see. Where's the notes? The Chosen Ones of Byring is uh, the symbol, if you guys like figure it out or whatever. I want to steal from the guards. <laughs> No, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> On a job, paying is more than what you could ever steal from them. Okay. I was like, oh man. Okay, and then we got Grexha. Friend of animals. Are you holding that squirrel by its nuts? <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like wielding the squirrel. He asked me to. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> the only reason why squirrel scattered. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The look on the face of the figure is like, is it a friend or a snack? Uh, like, what did yeah. you just say? <laughs> uh, I don't think I saw and the we've got Nazriel. And he's what, like blue and glowy? Yeah, he's a. Yeah. He's an ass, Amir. Oh, yeah, well, it, you know, I was I always heard it as like ASMR, but ASMR, yeah. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's like celestial blooded. Um, but yes, that very oh, shiny. Oh, so armor. you're part Aladdin genie? No, he's the yeah, he's the shiny one. You're, that's right. Yeah, he's he's part of the he's part so, of like the I said, genie. He's basically, a walking race, mirror, right? No, that's 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 different. He's like Is that an right angel. Or no? Yeah, they're like they're like angels almost. Yeah, there's like pro probably like angel blood in the in the lineage. So it's like like tieflings are part like have like tieflings have like demonic uh, or whatever blood uh, heritage, and so Ace are like the kind of like the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. The opposite, the right? Okay. Not that anyone's naturally good or evil from those from their heritage. <laughs> <laughs> Does Bellfire have a tail? No. Yep. You I do? thought I did. Oh, I did put it in there, but I yeah. I did. okay, sure. <laughs> Just curious. It's, it makes a difference if it's you can tail so, it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. It, I don't know that it's grown quite to that length yet. Vestigial. You know, it's a little tail. It's, it's hidden. It's hidden under the duster. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's you making know, it kick up like that. <laughs> I see the wings. Can, you can the dragon? It, you know. I don't know. Can Dragonborn fly? Yes, Is but only after I think level ten or something like that. So yeah, okay. eventually I'll be, I'll be I'll be able to do that. Yeah. Hey, which is why know, I bought certain things for the for the gaming table. Oh no. <laughs> you know, every once in a while, it's you know, you get older, it takes a while to get up there. So you know. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, that happened. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Only in the tides of flame. <laughs> That's why I have plus seven to performance. <laughs> so as uh, as you do your little walk of shame away, trying to like stay out of sight, uh, you, the rest of you pass through the main gate and out into the plains beyond the city limits as you embark upon your path toward Eltero. And we'll call it a night there. El Torrell. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, keep an eye on the social networks in order to find out when we're going to play next, uh, either on Facebook, Instagram, or 
Twitter. And we'll be back soon, I hope. All right. Have a good night, everybody. I'm on Instagram. That's literally the only one that I'm on. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh, and-